Hey everybody, happy Friday. Please let me know if I'm coming through, if everything's good about 10 minutes before I went live, my uh, internet OBS connection crashed again. I pay for 10 upload, but our modem needs replaced or something because it constantly resets to our uh, old account, which had five. And Two years ago, I changed our account, but anytime there's any sort of a hiccup in the system, it bumps it down to five. And so my OBS was crashing after I did Monday stream on OBS without a problem, but it needs that 10 upload. So I am currently using OBS in StreamYard, hoping it works. So as long as everything's showing up on that side, it just, it's a little more awkward for me to do this because since I'm not using OBS to officially stream, my chat is in one place. I don't have the OBS um, chat up. I have to have this and then I can't watch other things and it's all crazy. So I don't have a way of seeing who's all here right now um, other than what's on the chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and greet all you Knights of the Rhomboid table. Then we'll get into business here. Uh, I see train work is here. Anthony Borden is here. Sir Anthony Borden, how are you? Train work, welcome in. Sir Jeff of Flint Hills is here. Sir Sean of Buckley Junction is here. Sir Andy, our hot dog pilot, is here. Sir Ifo Fonzon is here. Sir John Benicki is here. Sir Joseph Agliato, our Sergeant at Arms, is here. Sir Graham of Leamington Station is here. Sir Colin of Wikes just came in, or Wicks just came in. Nice to have you here. Uh, let's see, Sir Graham of Leamington Station, Sir Leslie, great video today. Uh, really enjoyed uh, the TPE with a pride livery as well. That was something I hadn't seen before. And uh, just some other cool stuff there. Uh, let me see who else is popping in. Uh, Sir Steve of Maryland is here. Sir Mick, the Royal Brewkeeper is here. Sir Dino from the Model Railway Shed is here. Sir Ray of Bertelson is here. Sir Chris from the Valleys 56XX is here. And Eric and Wilhelm, Sir Eric and Sir Wilhelm from Von Don Eisenbahn are here. And we have Lady Z from Fantasy Trains, long time no see. Welcome in, glad to have you here. And I'm trying to see, this is jumping uh, with new additions, but I'm not currently seeing them. All right, so I can go to the chat here. Sir Andy Dobson is here because this hasn't caught up with you yet. So um, there we go. Great to have you all here. Um, yeah, I, um, again, I, I want to make uh, something clear only because it sets up what I'm going to say uh, after. And so it's nothing negative, even though it's talking about a negative at first. Uh, I put up a video a week and a half ago talking about negatives. And many people thought I was talking about me. And I was getting all kinds of advice. Well, you just got to get over it. Well, you know, in the video, I tried to emphasize. I was talking about my run-ins with negative negativity as well as because I do suffer from a couple of conditions that can make you more prone to letting something bothering you. Uh, but I, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't have burnout. Some other channels did. Um, and some have rectified and kind of recalibrated. Others have disappeared from YouTube. Uh, but um, so the reason I mention that is because I did a surprise live stream on Monday and uh, my little steamer Palooza. And that was just a spur of the moment whim. I was messing around with them. I had got all the trains off so I could clean the track. And then before I started putting trains on, I thought it would be cool to run the steam. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about, well, it'd be cool if I just put all the steam locomotives out and played all their whistles. I thought that would be funny. And then I thought what I'd really like to do is catch all five of them puffing their steam at once. And then I joked to Joyce, I said, maybe I can set off the fire alarm in the basement. <laughs> and, uh, um, cause she's like, that could be a lot of smoke. And then I just went ahead and added the cars. And then I thought, oh, what the hell, I'll do this live. But of course, I didn't test anything. I did not test run to make sure I had shut all the points off. And, you know, the first 20, 25 minutes of that live stream was utter chaos and frustration. Um, but again, because it was a whim, I just spur of the moment. But once I settled in and adjusted a couple of things, I had to turn one pat, uh, coach around and then it stopped derailing for some reason. 
And uh, then I had to turn one train around because it kept derate. Uh, a car kept uncoupling. And when I turned it around, it stopped uncoupling. Uh, and then a one of the trains kept derailing in this one corner. And when I made it go the other way, no problem. So I, I don't know what it was. Uh, but once it all settled down about 25 minutes in, it, it was a very nice, uh, other than the experiment failed. And I don't say that for pity or anything else. My goal was to see if I could get the five steamers that have smoking units going. I got three of them going and one puffed a little bit of stream for a bit, but I could not get all five. The blue wrangle just was not going to work no matter what I did. Uh, but it was nice. Uh, so I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Um, that steam, because I know a lot of you guys are classics and you like the steam. And again, I'm not into steam as my favorite thing, but that doesn't mean I don't like steam. Uh, as I always say, when I look at a steam locomotive, uh, I am always impressed by the workmanship of the men and women who built those things. Um uh, you know, the the bending of the steel, you know, they don't have the tools we have today, 100 years ago, even 70, 80 years ago. So a lot of that was muscle, men and muscle. And I apologize if that comes off genderist, but um, it is. Hey, Ray Ron is here. Hello, uh, Sir Ray Ron has come in. Hey, Sir Eric, great to have you. I'm just going to flip off of that now and just try to catch up. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that steam, and I'm glad if you guys enjoyed it as well. The chat was going. I only planned on being on for about an hour and a half. It went three hours. Um, I know I overran some other people's chats, and I apologize for that, but um, because it wasn't my time. But again, there's somebody live, even in the model train community, there's somebody live almost all the time. I feel like my Friday three o'clock seems to be relatively safe, although there's a bunch of modeling sites that now go up um, pretty much every day and awesome, more power to them. Um, it's because, and the only reason I think it's negative is because I might pop into their streams if I'm not doing my own and maybe vice versa. Um, the fuzz is cleaned up. Hey, Jean Ricard. Hello, Sir Jean. How are you? Um, the, the biggest news I want to share is um, also good news. Um, somebody whose channel I've loved for a long time, I've talked, he even did, uh, he volunteered to sing one of our songs, uh, The Wicked Games. Greg from Down Under, Greg from N Scale Model Railway, uh, who has been offline and has um, been out of touch for months. And I was getting rumors that, and the problem is the rumors and a couple of unanswered emails um, made me assume the worst. Um, I had hoped not, but because he did have cancer, uh, he had had a very, very, Difficult operation, something like uh, 16 hours or no, it was eight hour surgery, 20 surgeons, 20 different surgeons over eight hours. Um, and then he had very difficult recovery and therapy. He also had a grandchild in the middle, his first grandchild in the middle of all that, which, as you guys know, uh, now that I've become a grandfather in the last three years, how special I understand that is. Uh, anyhow, he is uh, he put up a video today to announce that he is alive and well. Um, I have not talked to him via email. I commented on, on his video, um, but I will try to write him an email. Uh, Herb and Nancy, if you're in there, I finally answered your email. I am so sorry that uh, Herb has had those health difficulties. Herb, uh, I'm glad to hear you are on the mend. Um, to paraphrase you, I'm not ready for you to uh, check in at the last Bonhoeff. Um, Herb is Herb is why I've got an ICE one now. Okay, uh, Herb did that amazing deal where I gave him, well, traded him an ICE three spare one I had, and he gave me all kinds of stuff in uh, recompense for it, which is amazing. Uh, I'm very bad about emailing people. Calling is always so much better because uh, I will look at an email and go, "Oh, I really want to sit down and write a good email. I don't have time now," and then I will let it go for three months and forget to send an email or a call. Hey, did I see Rick? Sir Rick is here from Rick's Trains. Great to have you. So anyhow, uh, Greg is alive and seemingly well. Uh, he's had 
he's been offline for so long, according to his video, um, reactions to the medicine, some other complications that came from the surgery and, and stuff like that. You can go watch his video. If anybody is um, subscribed to Greg, uh, Midsummer and scale model railway uh post his link in there real fast for me it's normally i could do it relatively quick but the way i'm set up here today uh, i'd have to be dropping a bunch of windows because like i said i am on uh, Streamyard, which i hate i do not like Streamyard, but i was prepared even after monday i was smart and i had a backup plan so i set up Streamyard just in case and sure enough at two a clock I started and about 10 minutes in uh, to a private live stream to make sure OBS was working about 10, 15 minutes in, it crashed. Um, same problems I was having um, last Friday and the Friday before. And I did a speed check and yes, I'm pulling only half of what I'm supposed to be pulling, the upload speed. I should be getting 10 to 11 and I'm getting five. So once again, this stupid modem i'm gonna call the company after the live stream today and say you guys got to do something about this i'm tired of this because that's the number one issue if my modem is not allowing me to pump the mbs i'm trying to upload then obs is going to have trouble getting it to youtube i still think it was an obs upgrade issue originally but that seemed to sort itself out because everything was working great and uh when i went live monday i tested and i was pulling 11 up i was doing 11 upload speed and um and lo and behold the stream was fine last week after the stream i tested it after you know i did the stream yard bit uh but um i did a five i was doing a five upload that doesn't seem to affect stream yard because stream yard only broadcast at 720. anyhow hey sir tom couples is here Oh, that's great to hear, Anthony. I'm glad you got it and checked it. Um, and again, I appreciate you sending the money. You didn't have to. I am more than happy with things like that where it was like a $5 or $8 car. Uh, I would be just as happy and honored to give it as a gift. Um, and then if you want to pay for shipping, pay for shipping. But whatever works for you in the end. If the gift, if you feel better paying for it, then pay for it by all means. But yeah, I appreciate that. I just, I just like doing stuff for people. Um, but anyhow, so what trains am I running today? No steam today. You, you had to get your fill on Monday. Uh, no steam today. Uh, so let me find my OBS here because now I've got about, I need a third monitor today because I've got the stream yard here, although technically I don't need it, but I need it for the chat. And then I've got OBS over here. But I like on this screen, I like to watch the YouTube feed um, for everything. But anyhow, uh, what are we running today? And by the way, I was running around panicking. I may have to adjust some cameras on the fly today. So I apologize. But let's go to the 11 lane and see what we got here. Yeah, I did not line those up very well. I didn't have a chance because from two o'clock to three o'clock, I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off, um, trying to sort this out. But what we're running today, we're gonna have the Austrian Railjet, and then I'm running an Austrian ICEC, both being pulled by the E64, the Taurus as I like to call them, or as pretty much everybody calls them. Uh, both are class 1116s in the uh, German and Austrian nomenclature. The model, the actual production model is an E64. Uh, I'm running the ICE-3. And then in the back, I am running, <laughs> well, you can see him going, I'm running the Blue Tiger. I think I ran him a few things uh, weeks ago, but uh, for some reason, I just decided I wanted to run him again today. And he was... <laughs> When I hit stop, as I got everybody set, so I'll get these guys going and out of the way. And yes, I'm running the Flix train because I got a couple more cars for it in the mail this week. No, I did not get my three car set, but I did find a site that had a couple of these for a decent price. And so I've got the Flix train ready to go. And we'll get... Uh, and I just want to run it now that it looks like a full consist. And also, it just adds some color. I mean, that's probably the number one reason I like the Flix train. It's just a unique color. I just like having that different color. Yeah. 
And that's the other thing. Now I got to drop another screen down to put another screen up to get another train going. And finally, way in the back, I'm running a class 102, which is technically a Skoda class 109. And it's running with some uh, double-decker DB Doshto coaches. So that's everything. I'll slow that down just a little bit. He'll slowly speed up, I think. If not, I will. Is he just struggling a bit? Come on, get moving, get moving. That's a problem. With OBS, I can have everything here and then my control center over here. Now, because I'm using StreamYard, I got to have OBS on one, StreamYard on another. My YouTube live feed follow is just not happening today. And, uh, well, yeah, it's just been crazy. Hey, hello, at Wolfsex Phoenix. And hello, Sir Dominic. How are you? And Sir Paul Woods. Oh, well, sex, nice to have you here. Oh, it's going to release the Mutt Cuts van. Well, that's cool to hear. You've had some cool stuff you put up recently, uh, especially your little new movie releases, uh, models based on releases. The blue and gray freight hauling. Uh, the blue tiger here, it's a sharp one. I can't believe and I've got this stupid duck in my way. <laughs> oh, and let's get the floor going while I'm at it. So now where's OBS? I got to pull OBS back off. This makes it easier switching between cameras. Yeah, my uh, Eurostar is making an interesting sound, but oh, this stupid duck. Uh, uh, uh. There, I'll just move myself here from for now. Right below me. Boy, those trains look cool for right below me there. Yes, I heard Anthony. Uh, I've got family that lives over that way. Actually, Joyce's family, but they're my family too. I'm married into them. Um, also, my son-in-law, Chris, is from New Jersey. And so he's got family that lives there. And my daughter, Lynn, through Chris, they have a lot of friends still in New Jersey. So yes, we were he, um, getting all the news. Pretty, uh, from what I understand, uh, they say that there's a potential crack in the Washington Monument because of it, because it shook DC pretty good. But um, hey, Sir Stephen of Cameron, how are you? Yeah, I had to use StreamYard because uh, my internet uh, is not running full speed to work with my OBS, which seems to be the problem. It is OBS did an upgrade and why all of a sudden, but today it was my internet uh, is not running full speed. My download is normal, but my upload, and again, I'm hardwired. My upload should never change. I am wired directly from this computer into the modem and everything. So my upload should never change regardless of usage because I, I, I pay for 10 and it's running five. And the thing is they have great customer service. All I have to do is call and within 10 minutes, they'll have it reset and running again normally, but I didn't have time. Fortunately, I had the backup plan 
which is I have my OBS set up in StreamYard. And so as long as you guys are seeing this and no buffering, then you then I know it is um, it was my internet that was the problem and not OBS. Well, the Eurostar is uh... the other news of the week is I did have a cat attack. Um, they must have gotten on the table. Nothing too serious. Just a couple of things knocked over that said cats were here. Uh, but also the cats decided, one cat decided to throw up over the, the two rail tracks. A cat decided to throw up on these rails below me. And another one decided to drop a couple of bombs in my control area here yesterday. So, ugh, I'm so sick of cats. A zoom! Heath was on Steve Ch Childers' live stream today. Okay. I have not been able to watch Steve Childers' live stream in a while because I've been busy around lunchtime. Uh, Joyce has had the last two Fridays off work, so we've been out and about. We were out at a store today because I am uh, – actually, we went out to lunch today. Uh, we're going to the store after the thing. I am building rebuilding our deck. It is a 22-foot by 14 deck. We finally decided we were going to do composite, talk ourselves out of composite, and I'm going to redo the deck and redo the railings and everything because the deck is, um, I built a cedar deck about 11 years ago and the cedar did not age well. And I know cedar grays over time, but that's not the issue. It is the cedar's not supposed to rot out and break up as it has done on my deck. Whatever that cedar was, it must have been diseased because it is just horrid all right anyhow let's get to the actual trains running besides the uk ones um i'll go to the multi-view just for a little bit so people can really get their sense of what's going on whoops well let's do the 11 lane first um the problem is uh john is that their litter boxes are down here in the laundry room. Their litter boxes are down here. So they have to be able to come down here. For a long time, they weren't allowed down here for years. And I'm going to move this camera over to, I can't stand seeing myself with this stupid duck in my face. Hi, everybody. Well, if you just pay a little bit of money, you'll get rid of that. I don't want to pay some yard money. I only use StreamYard to go into Artie Stream, and now as a backup if my OBS and internet are having uh, communication issues. But uh, I'm running the Flix train again because it's just been every time I've run the Flix train, I've had issues and so i've never gotten to highlight it so today i get to highlight it it finally gets to be seen in all its glory so let me just adjust a couple of things here so i can i don't want to get the duck in the way of those cool british trains but i do want to move things over so we're not in the way of that little train running below me right now that little passenger <laughs> oh, smell of a bitch. Hey, George, how are you? Yeah, so unfortunately, it was a decision about cats in the room uh, being allowed down here. We had to make when we, because what was happening, uh, we had a couple of things happening in the house. Uh, we had Artie coming to stay. So we had converted our son's bedroom into our workout room. When our son moved out, I set up a workout room. 
you know, a bait, a weight bench for me and Joyce. She had a treadmill. I had an exercise bike. Um, and you could move the stuff around easily. But with Artie coming, we needed to get some of that out of there. So I moved the exercise bike out, um, put the weight bench away. The problem is that was also the cat's the room we used for the litter box and we had the cats blocked off from coming down here. So we didn't want that room. We didn't want Artie being disturbed with bombs. And also the cat dust was constantly getting over the workout stuff that I, and I, I, I don't like the smell of cats period. Uh, I'm not allergic, but I just don't like the smell of cats. And so I stopped working out in there because I couldn't stand getting up in the morning, going to that room and smelling cats. Um, so we decided to do what we did with our previous cat. We put the cat box down here. The previous cat died before I had built a major layout and she was so old by that time that she couldn't hop up on the table anyhow. It might be roasted duck. Hey, so Raymond Legs is here. How are you? So yeah, uh, so some of you may have gone to the original one, which I deleted. I did delete it and wondered what happened to it. If you had notification, I did this one. Like I said, it was last second. I did at 2.30, I did another, uh, no, 2.40. That was the problem. 2.40, I did a 10-minute test run and five minutes in, it dropped. 2.45, I don't have enough time to um, call my cable company and have them reboot the the modem but i'm going to call them and ask them as like is there a better more upgraded version of this modem because i'm tired of this thing constantly resetting because that's the problem for years we had a five upload speed and when i started live streaming we paid the extra money and upgrade to 10 but anytime they reboot their system or the box reboots it resets us back down to five it's like come on really now, of course, if I do get a new modem box, I'm going to have to reset all my devices again. Well, we had, we had one cat and one dog together for 15 years. It was the perfect family. My three kids, Joyce, me, one dog, one cat, fish in an aquarium, some birds. We actually had the whole pet. Um, <laughs> how would you phrase that? Um, food chain. We had the whole chip, the whole pet food chain in our uh house at that time because we had gerbils and birds and cats and hamsters and fish because I was big into fish aquariums at the time. Um, I did fresh water. So, uh, and then a dog and a cat. And we had that dog and cat together for 15 years while my kids were going from their younger days till graduating high school. Um, in fact, um, even graduating college. I think my when our, when our dog died, my son still had two years, a year and a half to go in college. And when our cat died, he had half a year to go because our dog died and then our cat died a year they both died in november and i think it was one year apart maybe it was two years apart and then we waited a year and the following november we got these two cats which we've now had for three years three and a half years now two dogs five cats two hamsters eight goldfish and a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> is it you or is everything lost focus well, you, you guys would all have to respond to that. I mean, I'm not broadcasting my usual high def. Actually, 720 is high def, but it's low high def. You guys are all in 360p? Yikes. All these stupid ads.
Hmm. Well, hello, Sir Dave of Scott's Rails. How are you? Yeah, and again, this is one of the reasons I don't like StreamYard. But again, any problems you're having is probably my internet. Because like I said, my internet is not... Um, is only running half the upload speed it normally runs. Unfortunately, it dropped only a half an hour or so before I went live. I said I did a test stream and it died at 10 minutes in. Another test stream died very quickly in. So I checked my internet and yep, it was only pumping up five. So unfortunately, we'll just deal with it as it is. Hey, did I see Sir Clive is here? And uh, let's see, Sir Andrew Shortbread is here. You know, if we're going to call him, if we're going to call Sir Andrew of 156 Andrew Shortbread, with a name like that, he has to become the Royal Baker. So, Sir Andrew, I'm not going to call you the Royal Baker. You are the official baker of the Knights of the Rhomboid Table. Mr. Shortbread. Can't just say Andy. There are so many Andys. Yeah, a lot of people watch on their phones, which is where I do occasionally get people complaining that when I do this multi-screen, it's hard to see. But this is, you know, it comes down to rule one. It's, I, I like the multi-view um, and this is amazing on a television or a computer monitor. So let's see. Bridge view. Okay, so that one I did bump. It's a little tilted. Let's see. That looks a little better, I think. I think, I think, I think. And again, you get the views next to me. I've been doing a little reorganizing down there, down here in my control area. I uh, moved my, uh, I got tired of every time I leaned over the table, I was hitting my uh, stop buttons on these. So I have now moved these up and out of the way. They're now, um, now if I lean over the table, I won't be accidentally hitting the stop button or the change direction button on the trains I control with those. No, unfortunately, Anthony Borden, I don't know anything about uh, Freivald. You can hear my my mild voice. But yeah, um, like I say, it's this was, I don't want to say it was a good week because there were some troubling things this week as well. Um, but I mean, uh, Joyce and I went out, had a nice lunch today. Um, it's been nice having Joyce around through the week, although she's been bored because we had plans for this week. We had plans to do a lot of things this week. And originally we were going to go to Niagara Falls. Well, in some ways I'm guessing we're glad we didn't because the weather hasn't been great. Uh, but it's been horrible here. We've had, you know, um, a week and a half ago, they were forecasting the middle of this week to start being 55 degrees Fahrenheit and warmer getting into the 70s by the weekend. And it was going to be sunny. And then by the weekend, nope, it's going to be in the 40s, cool and rainy all week. And the warm temperatures won't come in until next week. So Joyce had all kinds of plans since we weren't going to go to Niagara Falls. Instead, we we're going to stay here and work on the new deck and all this other stuff. And the weather's just kept us from doing anything. Uh, Joyce is a busy person. She likes to be busy. She does not like sitting around. So she has been stir crazy because we haven't been able to really get out. We have gone out to shop for some things, but we really haven't gone out to, um, to, she wants to be outside. She wants to be working in the yard. 
She wants to start getting some things going on the deck. And uh, we just have not had it. All right. Eric is taken is almost over. Take care. Hope you feel better later. Hope you feel better now. But yeah, coming off of uh, dialysis uh, treatments, you don't feel good. Yeah, nobody's there. Nobody's there. Oh, station view, station view. That'll help. There you go. Coming right in your face. Doc! Oh, he turned. You're lucky. But yeah, Joyce and I made some decisions on some uh, basics with that. And so that makes me feel good. Well, Good Sold, all I know is Good Sold was high-end expensive stuff. I don't know anything more about Good Sold than it was. I was always told it was high-end and expensive. I'm back to the bridge view. Didn't want to go there. The Joyce Cam. No, no, that's not the Joyce Cam. That's a little better. So there goes that flick strain, but it's got a four car consist, which I which I can accept. I'd like it to be a five or a six car consist, but for now, four cars is good. But that's a nice busy scene going through. But I've also been rearranging trains. I have been rearranging trains and um where i parked some of them that's not bad but boy i do love that blue tiger and that was, um, was that Ohio Steam and Steel sent me that one? Well, hello, Phil Bond and Small Spill and International. And hello, Ian. Yeah, speaking of which, the big news, although I have not read to see what all is going on, is that Maryland, Maryland has announced a new gauge. Maryland's going to be building in a new gauge, a new spur. Belban and small spur and international. The thing is, it is my first and only Mahano, and I had always heard bad things about Mahano, but that is a gorgeous locomotive. And it is a great runner. A very strong polar. Very cool looking. In fact, um, who was it? Chris from Go Via and Go Home. Was he the channel I was watching? Or no? Not Chris. Uh, was it Simon? Somebody posted a video, but it was a UK train. So it wouldn't have been Chris. Uh, boy, did it look a lot like this guy. It looked a lot like this one. And I don't know. So I don't know if it was in Leslie's video or if it was uh, Simon the Railway Enthusiast video. But one of you two posted a video of a locomotive like this. And I said, wow, that looks a lot in, in body shape like my Blue Tiger here. All right. Glad you get to come out of work. Yeah, I and that EFO, I, I know Good Sold is still around. Um, and they are just uh 
I didn't know that they primarily did GDR, but I know like Jaeger for collection, they do very limited releases. But I just remember um, even up to a couple of years ago, I would see good sold releases and just look the prices were like, okay, I'm never collecting these guys. Is their Blue Tiger their high end range? Because yeah, I, I and I get I do get told that quite a bit, uh, Epo, that it's um, it's hit and miss. Okay, what about this? Yeah, that camera is good enough. I tried to adjust it, but I didn't eyeball adjust it. But yeah, they are. Um, yeah, um, but. Yeah, the Mahano, their lower end stuff isn't very good, but I've also heard it also depends on where they're releasing it. You got your double crossover, and that's cool. Yeah, Raymond, and uh, and Raymond, I think you're familiar with uh, Tommy Station, you know, Paul Bozeman's channel. He has a lot of Mahano, and a lot of his Mahano is their cheap range. But he loves them. Every now and then he'll talk about a bad Mahano motor, but he he really likes the company Mahano. And he used to do a lot of uh, travel and stuff in Eastern Europe, so he became very familiar with Mahano. But I have two things that are Mahano, and uh, they're working together right now. That, well, he's right there. <laughs> that locomotive there is Mahano. And at the very end, these two uh, yellow cars and the containers uh, and the flatbed they're on are Mahano as well. So this train begins with Mahano and ends with Mahano. And they're both cool. Hey, Curly, how are you? The Voslo G2000 looks like a small blue tiger. Well, Epo, would you know, would there be Voslos in the UK and what their class number would be? Because like I said, as like, my first reaction is, wow, that kind of looks like an American. And then I looked at it more. I said, actually, that looks like that blue tiger. Because I don't think it was a class. Um, I don't think it was a class uh, 70 that I saw. I just remember seeing a class 70, uh, maybe it was a class 70, uh, but it was either Leslie or Simon Rail fan enthusiast. Somebody in their video today had a locomotive in the UK and I, it just, to me, it looked a lot like the body of th that blue tiger. But yeah, that Eurostar is making an odd sound. It's running okay now, but it's making an odd sound. And welcome in Train Master 9000. The British Class 58. Well, I'll just have to go watch that video later. Uh, it, it's not a Voslo, but it can look like it. And, you know, obviously I don't have the eyes for these things the way so many of you especially you know the heavy duty train spotters that really follow all trains not just your own nationality you know uh, whereas you know even though I quote am into German trains I don't have the history of German trains uh, from a distance I couldn't tell you a class 01 from a BR50 I can't tell a class 18 from a class 03 I can't, I can't tell you that in steamers. And from a distance, I can't tell a class 101 from a 185. I can guess based on what it's pulling, but I can't tell a 101 from a 146 from a 185 other than by what it's pulling. If it's a bunch of IC cars, oh, it's a 101. If it's a bunch of regional traffic, it's a 146. And if it's freight, it's a 185. Because in terms of the shape and body from even 50 feet, 100 feet away, to me, to me, they're identical. I probably should grab all three of them right now and put them on there and say,
a Euro duel. Class 70. Because that's what is sticking in my head that it was that Class 70 you showed. And I just have to make sure I don't confuse a Class 70 with a Class 77, which looks like a Class 66, because I think it's just an upgrade of a Class 66. But again, I don't know. Don't. Anybody who follows me regularly and truly knows trains, no, don't trust me on any information. Just like I can't tell a Taurus 1016 from a Taurus 1116 from a Taurus 1216. They're all Taurus. For a Trax Gen 1, the only difference is gearing. Well, good. That makes me feel better about that. That it's not that weird. I don't think it, yeah, just the back is coming there. See, I don't show this cam as much because it's this side isn't as busy because it only has the three trains coming through, where the other side always has at least three trains running. There you can see the incline in the back, because I think Andrew last week, uh, Andrew Shortbread, ES64U. All right, let's get technical. But over the over the years that I've been doing this, some people do express their opinions on what views they like and don't like. And um, wow, that just went fuzzy again. Oh, it says it's again. But. Uh, yeah, see, to me, the views right now don't look as good to me because it is 1080. The only view that looks the same is the OBS view because it's the full color of the cameras. But uh, even though I only broadcast in 1080, about a third of my cameras are 4K. So even in 1080, you get much richer detail, definition, and so forth. Hey, did I see Randall Ellison is here? Hello, Randall. Class 68s and 88s are boss lows. Okay. I love the 68s and 88s. I think they're very cool looking, but I always say they look very continental European. But if anybody's wondering where the steam is today, they were all tired out after Monday, so they needed a good rest. So no steam is running today. Dude, you are going so slow. That class 102. I uh, have to crank his speed up a bit. All right, that's a little better. Uh, this seems to be a, this view seems to be a very popular camera view because 
you can kind of see the expanse of the layout. You get to see pretty much everything except one back corner. If I were to put a little mount on the wall in that corner instead of the tripod it's actually sitting on, it's actually sitting on a tripod with a handle, I would be able to get it back. I don't think I could ever get the bottom corner there. But that's the corner you don't see. That's almost the angle you don't. The it's the corner you don't quite see. If I were to turn that camera a little bit to your right, it would be you would see the corner you don't see on the bigger cam from up here, the long view. So you can see the ICE in this picture going into the bottom. I go up here. There's the ICE coming and going around the corner. And then if I go back to the long view, you see the ICE three coming up along the back now. So you'll see it coming up the ramp now. Into the station. Going around. And normally you'd see it here, but that IC is in the way. So we'll just catch it on the Dumb and Horse low view. Coming around the corner, it goes into this view. And then there it is on this view. And that view. And now the Joyce cam, the 11 lane, the Brayman corner view. And then back to the bottom. So there, you just took a, you just took a trip around with it. Yeah, if uh, as I'm looking at it and watching it struggle a bit, this class 10, uh, 103, 102, that's pulling the double deckers that are lit up and going kind of slow. That is a Merklin, and it may be my most disappointing Merklin, which is an, which is saying a lot because Merklins are very good, but this guy has never been a great puller, um, and it hasn't gotten better in the three years I've owned it, four years I've owned it. First American steam in the UK was a Norris 420. Hey, Kieran, how are you? Great to have you here. Well, thank you for that, uh, Andrew of the 156 variety, our Royal Baker. I hope you're taking that title well. I expect to see your first loaves of bread officially produced uh, for by next week's stream. But that is just a nice, bright color there. Uh, even in 720, I think it looks pretty good. But yes, on Joyce Cam, the quality, uh, I should say, uh, on this computer, this, this is not nearly as vibrant as it is. Yes, and that's true. Kieran did put up a new video. That was great to see. That's two videos uh, I've seen in the last month or so, which is great. Coming at you again. Whoa, duck. And the IC3 coming at you. Well, but not quite. Yep, 
think it's going to get busy here in a second. Same old, same old. And now nobody on this camera. <laughs> Really, you're going to do an ad? Oh, that's just ridiculous. LSL secretly planned two passenger runs to Malag, Malach next week. So West Coast decided they better send something. Mach 1s without CDL. Oh. Chris. The warships were reduced size V200. Interesting. I guess I had heard the gen that general information before. Not that I remembered it. <laughs> I almost know stuff. Well, hello, Tammy and Ray. How are you? Um, not having a bad day. Uh, actually, I had a would probably say I had a good day other than my OBS uh, and internet were acting up right before I went live. So I had to switch to StreamYard. But uh, I've been a little, I've been frustrated with wanting to start the deck and we finally uh, made some other decisions about redoing our deck. And we ordered the wood. It's going to be here Monday. Well, hello, Sir Andrew from the March West Junction. Now, I was watching uh, Mac Trains, and he was doing a video on uh, Hornby's uh, TT120 catalog for the 2024 range. And he showed some really nice coaches in the TT range that uh, come with a Flying Scotsman set. Because I really want to get a really nice group i know the greshley teaks but i bought i've got three greshley teak coaches and two others and they don't match and the three the three passenger coaches i have are the same exact one with the same exact running number i want to get a nice set that was one of the things i was going to look for at gets but again, I would like to, or the Mollard, um, and I would also like to find the Mollard. I've got the British Rail, but uh, for the um, Blind Scotsman and HO, but for the Mollard, I'd like to get some really nice coaches for the Mollard. I want to get a really nice set for the Mollard in double O down on the floor.
So Pullman coaches could be really cool, especially in the right right color. That Pullman in those Midland blues would match that Mollard nicely. I think that'd be a nice because I'm very aesthetically driven. I want the colors to flow. I want them to match. Probably why I'm not into freight trains as much. <laughs> I don't know. Um, because it's all just a bunch of rusted different colors of things. Because, like, if I see a, tes a train pulling a bunch of Tesco cars and all that blue Tesco, I start to go, oh, that looks pretty cool. A nice long rake of blue Tesco stuff. That's cool. So maybe I'm not as opposed to freight trains as I am just the fact that they don't have that standout coloring. <laughs> Would they go with the Mollard though, Raymond? Would they go with the Mollard? Yeah, and Maryland just did those. Yeah. Oh, and that's what EFO's putting up. Yeah. There comes that IC. Uh, looks identical to the train Joyce and I took from uh, Salzburg. Well, not Salzburg. From uh, Stuttgart to Salzburg. Actually, we picked it up in Esslingen. We were supposed to catch it in Stuttgart, but they moved the train to Esslingen, bypassing Stuttgart because of all the work going on at the Stuttgart station. But yeah, see, here you can see I mounted this to get it out of the way. And the other one, you can't see where I've mounted it. I've got my mobile, which I didn't turn on today. Well, hello, Bernard at Mini Prince. Welcome in. Well, hello, RGJ Trains. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. Hope you're all well. But I admit it, I, I'm often drawn by the colors. I mean, that's why, you know, very early in model trains, into model trains, I broke the rule of it had to be a train we ridden on because I just saw the two rail jets, the Austrian. Actually, I saw the Czech first and then the Austrian. Fell in love with the Czech and then saw the Austrian and went, whoa, they're both cool. And just, I talked myself into having one and then I wound up getting both. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you guys may not get tornadoes to the level we get them in uh, the United States, although Toledo itself. Toledo is in a very interesting geological uh, situation. So massive storms tend to just like here's Toledo. Although I guess from your guys' point of view, coming west to east, I think with you guys would be this way. If the storm is coming west to east, it hits this 
Toledo area and it just split. So the heaviest stuff goes north or south and rarely does the heaviest hit Toledo. Now we get pretty severe thunderstorms and hail and stuff like that at times, but we just don't get the tornadoes like 10, 20 miles north, 10, 20 miles south get. And we're not even Tornado Alley. That's Oklahoma uh, and that region. Uh, going into Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas, that area. That's Tornado Alley. Well, hello, Greg. I saw your video today. It was great to see you again. Welcome in. Welcome in. Siemens Valaro family, along with the Eurostar and a few other export versions. Okay. I did not know the Eurostar was considered part of the Valaro family, but I guess it makes sense. Although, the are, are the ICE-3s, I don't think the ICE-3s are all considered Valaros, aren't they? I thought the 406s were the Valaros. You don't like very colorful layouts. Right, right. But see, one of the... I can't say it's one of the worst things I heard in the model train world, but when I first came in, one of the things that put me back and made me not want to comment with a group of guys is they were talking about trains and why they were into trains. And then some guy says, you know, and they were being very sexist, which I hate. I don't like any hobby that is... Well, this gender does it and the other gender doesn't belong in there. And I've seen way too many cases. Uh, but anyhow, I'll go off on a small rant there. Uh, but anyhow, they uh, they made, they were talking about, well, women, women would just pick a train by its color. And I'm like, that's exactly why I pick a train. I love the livery. And when we talk about the livery, we're talking about the colors. And I love trains based on their livery. I don't necessarily look at a locomotive and think the locomotive itself is beautiful. There are some ugly ones. Uh, there are some locomotives, especially some. And I would get, I would lose about half my subscribers if I started naming locomotives I think are ugly. <laughs> Just from the German world, the Swiss and German world. There's a lot of ugly locomotives, especially older variations of them. It doesn't mean there weren't they weren't great workers, great haulers, and built to last and had wonderful machinery. But from my personal aesthetics, they're ugly. I I think I've occasionally uh, hurt my friend Tom's feelings. Tom, if you're watching, hi. Because uh, every now and then he'll post a look and I'll say, well, that's a... He's asked me about it. I go, well, you know, some of those... Swiss and French locomotives are just. And then people were talking about the class 1600 in the Netherlands. And I'm like, again, not the prettiest locos to me, but they are so popular and so beloved by everybody else. But again, I. I, I look at trains I buy based on, for the most part, liveries. I mean, yes, it's got to be from my world, but. I've never ridden a flip stream, but I happen to look at it and go, that would look cool on my layout against all these other colors I have. <laughs> that flip train is here because of its colors. I don't even like the company flip trains, but I've got one of their models because I like the color. <laughs> hey, Luma. Yes, I've seen pictures only. Of uh, the special uh, freight Vectrons, yeah. But would I pick a damn flock? Um, to be honest, I there's a lot of steam trains I think are just impressive and beautiful. There's a lot that I think are ugly. Okay. Um, but I just, you know, steam was not... Steam is not my first go-to because it's not really my era. My era is modern. You know, I like ICE-3s and Dezumas and 
even rail jets with the with the Taurus locomotives than anything else. Those are my those are my trains, the high speeds, the TGVs, the old Thales, um, the the missile shaped trains. That's what I'm into. Exactly, Stephen. Yeah, well, that one, yeah, I just, Beavis and Butthead doesn't do a draw for me, but that's cool. Okay, so you got a video there ready to go of it. Someday, Joyce and I will travel through France and ride a TGV, and then there will be one on my layout. Oh, I love the A4s. I love the UK A4s. The Mallard's my favorite, but uh, there's 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 two other A4s that rank up there with the Mallard. Of course, the Mallard is slightly more famous. But um, is it the Sir Nigel Gressley that occasionally came in the really dark blue? There's one I've seen in a dark blue livery. Like, is that British Rail blue? That's gorgeous. And then the Silver Fox. The Silver Fox is gorgeous. I probably would have known names of these locos better because when Chris Whittingham was alive and had his channel, he had 20, he died with 28 A4 models. He had 28 different A4 models and um, he knew all their names and he, and of course he had Mollard in two different liveries um, and so on. What's a TGV? It's the high-speed train in France, and it's gone through many style variations over the years, but it's the French high-speed train, and they're gorgeous. But uh, the Mollard, the Silver Fox, absolutely stunners. If somebody gave me a Silver Fox, I, I would accept it gladly. No, I'm not asking for people to send me one, no. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if anything, similar to the white train going in front of you now, same idea, except sometimes I think the TGVs are a little sleeker. And there's a couple of TGVs that have some amazing, amazing liveries on them. But there's the old orange ones from the 80s to 90s that are just amazing. But then um, I, I was talking about during my live stream on Monday. It's not an A4. Is it an A3? The du Or it's a different class. The Duchess of Sutherland. Oh, my God. You put a steamer in that LMS livery with a rake of LMS cars behind it, and I'm sold. I, I love the LMS liveries. I love that maroon. I should change views here. Let's go to multi-view for a bit. Yeah, and that that's a very clever thing to do, Efo. That's very clever that um, they do that. Um, although I think with ICE one and ICE two, they kept the cars. Uh, when they went up to ICE three, I don't were the ICE one and two cars compatible with the ICE three pulling ends? Because I know the ICE fours do not work they're 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 structurally different from what i thought i understood i could be totally wrong of course probably totally wrong but um like i love the class 43 hsts from the uk especially in the swallow livery now you get them in that marine midlands blue they're gorgeous you get them in scott's rails they're beautiful Joyce and I, one of the favorite trains. I mean, we obviously I love the Azuma and Joyce got it for me. But I love the Scotts Rail livery as well as the TPE. 
But the Scotts, there's one of the Scotts real liveries that is just brilliant. And if I could get a class 43 HST, like what Joyce and I rode from Edinburgh to Sterling, if I could get it at a fair enough price, I'd probably have it. But uh, did somebody... Duchess of Sutherland is an LMS Princess Coronation class. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Did I say, no, I said LMS. I didn't say LNER. I thought I said LMS. I'm almost positive I said LMS. Maybe I accidentally slipped in an LNER at one time, but L LMS Maroon is just, those are the trains. I, The Duchess of Sutherland is just, to me, one of the prettiest Steam locomotives in the UK, just because I love that maroon. But there's also a couple that are in that dark, dark blue, which again, is that called British Rail Blue? You know, some of the diesels in that don't look great in it, but boy, there are some uh uk steam locomotives in that dark blue livery not the lighter blue but that darker blue that i just think are beautiful sort of like um the cars from uh the ciwl um uh, orient express cars in the blue which i love just like my rheingold um uh, in the blue You've been given permission to buy a pre-used Southern Pacific SD40 if it's still in the shop when I go next week. Well, for that sake, I hope it's there. All the same to God's wonderful railway, the GWR. See, I'm not, see, that's the nice thing. I'm not torn by your regional biases. I can love an LNER Azuma Class 800 and think it's gorgeous. And I can love a GWR Class 800 and think it's gorgeous. I can look at a Trans Pennine. They're all gorgeous. I gotta get to I gotta get to the Netherlands, so I have an excuse to buy a couple of Dutch trains I like because the Dutch cars are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, outside my railjet and my and my Azuma, am I running my prettiest trains? I don't know because I still the ICEs, the ICE threes and the ICE fours, with a little bit more leaning towards the ICE three. Um, they're just a white train with the blackened windows and the red stripe, and they're gorgeous. I love them. They're just sleek and clean. I love the ICEs. They will always be my favorite. Now, livery competition, railjet versus ICE3, uh, if there's a difference, I'd hate to live on that difference because they're, they're so different. But, uh, yeah, the, the railjet, the UK railjet, uh, the UK railjet, the Austrian railjet is just, uh, it, it's unbelievably beautiful. I just love it. And again, the three color tiers, that sort of a charcoal, grayish black, and then the red and the uh, magenta or dark maroon, brownish maroon. Yeah, Simon's got some cool ones, obviously. Um, now, Denmark, the Danish trains are pretty cool, too. I just don't have as an active a memory other than the Danish, I think it was a Valero that is basically an ICE. <laughs> Nothing is tribal. Well, Chris, that's because your entire country's history has been tribal. Yeah, the different variations of Celts, Pictish, Utish, blah, 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 blah. You had the various Anglo-Saxon tribes, Anglo-Saxons, Bretons, you know, it's... 
you just have you were always a tribal area to begin with um you know americans are regional too um and germany is very regional but the biggest thing in germany is as regional as germany is and i can understand i i, I speak hochdeutsch um I, I guess I would say fluently. I speak Hochdeutsch fairly fluently. Um, but I also understand a lot of the regional dialects. Uh, Plattdeutsch, I have to hear slow. <laughs> if it's really fast, I'm lost with Plattdeutsch. But if I hear it slowly, I can usually work it out. Schwitz, Schwitzerdeutsch, which is Swiss German, Schwitzerdeutsch, uh, is probably the hardest German dialect for me to understand especially spoken by locals. Um, I can handle low Bavarian, high Bavarian, again, if it's spoken a little more slowly. Rhenish, when they speak naturally, forget it. And then Prussian and uh, Pomeranian accents and so forth, I, I can handle relatively easy. But any dialect, you get into some areas where not only do you have the dialect, but you have the local slang mixes in. That's where it gets problematic. Because not only is it keeping up with the dialect, it's keeping up with the change in slang. You know, hello, CMD. Cool video from Passau. That was awesome to watch. All right, well, thanks for popping in. Well, we could always debate that one, Efo, because obviously favorite and color and best is always going to be um, subjective. We're always going to have our biases. But again, I, I have seen some Dutch trains, especially era five locomotives and cars that I think are just absolutely beautiful. And I know some of them still run. But Joyce and I have got to get into Holland. The funny thing is, although we're we're going to Australia now, uh, we've already planned out the 2025 trip to Germany. We've already planned the route. So unless something drastic comes up, it's probably not going to change. But Joyce and I are starting in Frankfurt, but we're only flying into Frankfurt, spending the night, and the next morning we're getting up, and we're going to Aachen, and we're going to spend six or seven days in Aachen because I want to get to that area. But while we're in Aachen, we're going up to Maastricht in the Netherlands and we're going down to Liège and maybe even over to Brussels in Belgium while we're in Aachen. And then we'll, we want to hit some of the, um, uh, the Eiffel National Park area of Germany in there and go down to, uh, what was the one lake? Ramsey or something like that we saw. Uh, which isn't too far from Aachen. But I want to see Aachen for historical reasons and, and such. Uh, Charlemagne, Karl der Gose. Uh, and then from Aachen, we're going over to Hamburg so we can go to Mincher Wonderland again. So we'll spend three days in Hamburg again, and we'll probably go up to like Kiel or go back to Lübeck while we're in Hamburg. And then from Hamburg, we're going up to Aarhus. And we're going to stay in the Aarhus region so we can go over to Abeltoft and say hi to uh, Jean Ricard. And then from Aarhus, we're going to catch, I forget, but we're also going to go up to Copenhagen. We found a train where it's about three hours to go up to Copenhagen. We might even spend the night in Copenhagen. But we want to go see Copenhagen while we're there. Um uh, Otherwise, we'll just do it as a long day trip. Get up early in the morning, three-hour, three-and-a-half-hour train ride to Copenhagen from our house, and then back. And then um, and then I think it's we're going to catch the ferry, and I think uh, if Jean Ricard's still here, uh, where the ferry goes, uh, I, there's a ferry that goes to Rostock. And then we're going to spend uh, some time in Rostock and catch the Baltic Sea stuff. Uh, we're also going to go over into Poland and to the town of Zetschen, which used to be Stettin 
which is where my grandmother was born when it was a German city back in the 1890s. Uh, my grandmother was born in Stettin. We don't have any information on family, just her last name and find if people live there. I doubt we'll find anything, but we'll see the city. We'll go across the uh, Odernesse and uh, see Stettin, and then we'll, we're going to go back down to uh, Frankfurt and leave. But So we've already got the route planned and a lot of what we're going to do there planned. And then the next time we go to Germany... Because uh, 2026, we're going to go to the UK. So 2027, we'll probably do Europe again. But we want to, we're going to start in um, Zarbrücken. And from Zarbrücken, we actually want to go into France. We want to spend some time in France. And we might even go up to Paris for a few days. You know, Zarbrücken, Paris, and then back into Germany or up to the Netherlands. And Maybe finally go to Rotterdam and Amsterdam and just make it a non-German trip. That's all right, Randall, man. That's all right. Yeah, when you go to Miniature Wonderland, I hate to say this so drastically, but when you go to Miniature Wonderland, as we say it in German, you will not see model trains the same way ever again. I'm sure there's the 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 crotchety old fogey of some kind that I didn't think my mentor Wonderland was that great. Um, but I have taken bored American teenagers that only want to be outside and watching TikTok and everything else. And I took bored American teenagers to Mentor Wonderland and had them coming out going, that was the coolest thing. Did you see this? Did you see that? Oh, my God. You know. So if I can get a bunch of bored American uh, teenagers um, like uh, to appreciate it, yeah, if, if you're already into model trains, it is a mecca. It is the place you got to see. And um, Joyce and I did the German Big Three this past, well, a year ago. Oh, my God. It's been a year already. But Joyce and I did the European big, well, the German big three. <laughs> we did uh, Miniature Wonderland again. But we also did the Merklinaeum, which is the Merklin factory's big display and museum. And then we went to Porsche. And Porsche was amazing. I think Joyce said she actually liked the Merklinaeum better than Porsche simply because the trees. Merklin put a little more effort into their trees than Porsche did. But the Porsche layout is a techno disco dream model train layout. It's, And we've got videos on our channel. Uh, if you want to know what you're getting into, uh, we've got three different videos from Miniature Wonderland from 2017, 2019, and 2023, uh, including we live streamed in 2023. Uh, and then also, we have a video from the Merklinaeum, and we have a video from uh, the um, uh, Porsche's Traumwerk. So you could go. We have a playlist on our channel called the Big German Model Train Layouts. And the worst thing, the worst thing, the worst thing of all was Joyce and I were in Schaffhausen, Switzerland, Filming, filming ourselves, waiting at a bus stop to catch the bus to take us to Neuhausen to go see the Rhine Falls. And literally less than 100 feet away was a big Swiss model train exhibition center that is supposed to be really cool. We were a 45-second walk away 30 second walk away from this ultra cool and we didn't even know it was there. We only found out later when when we found this site and it says it's right here and Joyce and I were like, isn't that where our bus stop was? Yeah, it was right behind us. Yeah, the DB Museum in Koblenz. The DB Museum in Nuremberg was cool but not the model train big thing. I mean, I'm just talking model trains. Um, 
Because Dresden has a cool little um, museum train section that uh, Joyce and I spent just like 20, 30 minutes in. Uh, just briefly, because we were on our way somewhere, but we walked through it and like, oh, this is cool. Try to book a ride on the Balkan Express. Well, if that is near Aachen, accessible from Aachen, we'll look it up. I'll probably forget it. Do I have my pen here? Yes, I have my pen. Do I have my notepad here? No. Where are all my notepads? I only got 50 of them. Hang on. The Balkan Express. Uh. Yeah, Eiffel Park. Vulcan Express. Oh, I've got a year. I need to finish planning everything we're doing in Australia. Australia, Australia, Australia. But that's the thing. I would love to see, you know, um, all these UK, just these exhibitions people go to. You see all these beautiful layouts. And size doesn't matter. When it comes to some of these exhibitions, there's just beautiful layouts and you'll never see them anywhere. Speaking of which, did my, did Tim come in? I don't think I ever saw Tim Dowd in. If he did, and I missed him, I feel awful. No, Tim didn't come in. Yeah. Well, I hope Tim Dowd's okay. Just realized I hadn't said hi to Tim at all today. So, Tim, if you're watching on replay, I hope you're okay. I hope you're not here because you're out having a good time. Problem with a paperless office, you can never find a pen. I, I'm, I'm an old writer, Chris. There is usually a pen within a couple of feet of me anywhere. I have usually like uh, in the living room, which only uh, a couple of people have actually seen, uh, even in video chats. Like sometimes when Jean Ricard calls me, I, most of the times when he calls me, I'm in my living room on that computer. Uh, I've got a little sideboard table next to me, and there's probably 20 pens in there. Also being a teacher. Um, and then in the upstairs desk, I have, again, 20, 30, 40 pens. Down here, I don't have many, but I do have, in my little desk here, I have I have a few pens. I even have, I don't know if that'll show up on the small camera. I have a Maryland pen. I'll go to the big cam here for a second. Oops, not that one. Where's OBS? Bing, OBS. Okay, because I've been on this feed for a while. I have a Maryland pen. <laughs> and I have another one because I bought another one when I was in Germany because this one I think has finally run out of ink. But this was a gift from a friend when I got into Maryland. They sent it with some stuff they sent me. So it's a Maryland pen. Yeah, it's, it was a nice pen too, because I like ultra fine point pens. As a writer, I love ultra fine point. Uh, this pen here is a standard point. It's, I don't enjoy writing with it as much. But yeah, I bought a Maryland pen and I don't know what happened to it. It might still be in a suitcase somewhere <laughs> a year later. I'll find it in Australia. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I would love 
But of course, when I'm traveling now, Ifo, I'm traveling, and let's go to trains while I babble. Let's find a good view. Um, not that one. Let's do that one. For a little bit. But, um, you know, I travel, it's always end of May and June. Because Joyce likes to get the trip out of the way so when she gets home. So we leave her her last day of work. We leave either that night or the next morning. And um, and then we try to get back. You know, Joyce, in all fairness, Joyce would probably cut our trip shorter. She thought that the trip to the UK, which was almost four weeks, she loved every minute of it. But coming home, she felt it was long. And then this last trip where we pretty much spent the entire month of June in Germany, she said that was too much, that uh, we were just gone too long. It wasn't that she didn't enjoy everything we did, but she comes back. She still wants to feel like she has a summer at home off to get some other things done, to do some of the little stuff she wants to do, and so on and so on. She thought the full month was too long, so really she wants me to keep the trips uh, so, like, the trip to Australia is only three weeks long, but then we'll probably bump it back up to uh, three and a half to four weeks the next couple of trips to Europe. And that's the problem. So, we're, we're, in, we're in Germany in June, and in mainland Europe, I can't speak for um, the UK, but it seems in Central Europe, that's when all the train shows really stop. You know, there might be some local ones, but it seems like all the big ones, you know, everybody's on vacation or traveling in June once the school year is out for the students that uh, they don't have the big shows and the really cool exhibitions. So, yeah, I would love to. I, I mean, A, I'd like to city, see the city of Utrecht along with Rotterdam and Amsterdam. Uh, the only uh, Dutch city I've actually spent time in is Groningen. The only Dutch city I've actually spent time in is Groningen, which is a pretty little town. Hey, Sir Richard is here. You don't like long holidays. Um, I'm sort of the opposite. The more I'm away, I miss my family. I miss my kids. I miss my grandson. But otherwise, I would I would move over there. Uh, I don't, I don't miss the creature comforts because my creature comforts are my computer. The biggest thing I miss is my, would be my family and then maybe running my trains. Hello, Mar Sir Mark from the land of the piddle folk. All right, well, when I start traveling more, I will talk to you as well as Hi about that region. Although I think Hi is much more northwest from Maastricht area. But anything more I could do, because I do want to do a lot in the Netherlands, but that will actually be a later trip, like 2027. And I don't want to even think about that because, oh my God, I'll be so much older already. And I look forward to these trips, and I wish I could do them all and just spend a whole year traveling. I'd like to live a year abroad, but I would miss my family. I'd miss my my kids, my grandson. Um, but a month away, to me, is always perfect because the one thing I, I, I really feel in traveling is, uh, like, when we stay is... A minimum of four days in a town because then you really start to feel a part of it. When we did the UK, we did four, we did four days in each city we stayed. Four days in Cardiff, four days in Bangor, four days in Liverpool, four days in Edinburgh, four days in York, and then it added up to four days in London. And in each of those cities, 
except for London. Four days felt too short. When we, when Joyce and I lived in the town of Kempton for seven days, seven and a half days in 2019, we loved it. By the last two, three days we were in that town, we, we, we were known. The people at the grocery store knew us. The people at a couple of pubs and restaurants knew us. And that was so great that it actually made leaving it, leaving it harder. They have some 5280s on a few Swedish locos. Well, Scandinavia is another thing. Finland, uh, Finland, Norway, and um, Sweden are a, a eventual trip that Joyce and I will do. But Joyce is going to retire uh, after 2027, and then we can pick other times of the year to travel. I really thought Joyce might retire after 2025 or 2026, but... She's been cooking the books and she thinks she's just going to stay till 2027. Well, you lived in Algarve for a year when you left school. But see, that's the thing. I, I was born and raised in Toledo, but I have moved out of Toledo many times. And when Joyce and I first got married, we lived in Cleveland, Ohio, and I loved where we lived, but Joyce missed her family. In fact, my first job offer when I graduated college, uh, actually even before I graduated university, was uh, to teach English at a boarding school in the German part of Switzerland. It was just outside, I, it was near Zurich. And they offered me the job and Joyce did not want to move. And that's one of the things she kind of wishes maybe we had moved to Switzerland because she loves being in Germany. And the biggest thing of being home is the family. But if we had all grown up in Germany, our family would all be in or Switzerland. We would have lived there and our family would all be there. But um, when Joyce and I are over in Germany for um, a month, I know I'm going to see my kids again. So I don't miss it. And I've never slept in a bed so bad. It's where I miss our bed. Um, because the views you see when you wake up make up for even if the bed's a little meh. The things we get to go do and see. New road bridge nearly complete. That's cool, Sean. Just some random around the layout shots. But... Um, I mean, Toledo is an American industrial city. It's got its pretty parts. It's got a lot of beautiful parts. Um, it has its rundown poverty areas. There's a couple of parts of Toledo where one might feel a little unsafe after dark. Well, we live in a nice neighborhood. We've got a pretty neighborhood here. And um, well, how tall are you, Ifo? Because I'm 6'3 to 6'4. As soon as I put on shoes, I'm 6'4, but I'm like just over 6'3. Um, that was, that's probably the bigger issue is when we talk about beds is that the German and British 
version of a queen or a king bed is not a queen or a king bed. About 195 centimeters when standing, because that's roughly where I'm at. I think. Yeah. Oops. So yeah, you're about six four, six five. Yeah, because I'm 75 inches. You're about 76, almost 78 inches tall. So you're a bit taller. But then the Dutch are the tallest Western group of people. The average height of a Dutch man is like 6'1", or the average height of an American is uh, 5'10". Okay, let's uh, adjust <laughs> L camera. I am using OBS, I'm sure, or not OBS, I'm sure you heard. I'm using OBS through StreamYard. So where is the, where's multi-view? Well, it doesn't make, make any difference to you other than I got stupid duck on me. Rock and roll, rock and roll. Oh, you need a mic. Here, have a mic. Nobody will hear me without it. Okay, so first of all, hi, everybody. It's <laughs> Joyce. Hi, Tom. Hi, Karen. Hi, Colin. Hi, Andy. Wait. Hi, Andy again. Okay. There we go. There's a new for you. Hi, Buckley Junction. Hi, Wolfsack. Hey, Mick. And hi, Valley. I really should know. <coughs> morning your voice day. wasn't struggling earlier. Why is your voice struggling now? I don't know. I worked out. so. Oh, okay. Hi, Leslie. Yeah, I ran my treadmill. Hey, Randall. Didama. Hey, Stephen. Oh, so. Uh, 185 Korean guy. So, yeah, wow, that's different, isn't it? So Evo hey, is taller than me. Take... He's Rick. He's hey, Rick Andy, the tree again. size. Another Andy. He's Rick the tree size. Yeah, he is. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Dave. And hello to you, anyway. So he's about that much taller than me. Yeah, no, but, yeah, we know people like that. Randall's, well, it's weird. Usually, wherever I go, I'm Randall the tallest. Randall fairly tall. Randall, aren't you tall? No, Randall. I don't think Randall's that tall. No, I have that version he is. Wrong color Coke. <laughs> it's my Coke Zero. Which is a little darker than regular Coke. He's messaging you. Okay. Who, what, where, when, why, how, what? Was that? It was skin. Oh, okay. So it's work stuff. So. Yeah, so, so you put it on a bit Randall, okay. only six point. There, it's not only six foot. Oh, uh, you're six foot. Okay, Randall. Well, that's too tall. Yeah, that's... we've been talking height. Andrew, the hot dog pilot, got quiet. Well, yeah, yeah, we know. Well, but, Andrew, if you were not the height you are, you would not be a hot dog pilot. So it has its takes. It's good sides, too. Oh. So, um. So I have a lot of breath still, I guess. They got me singing this song now. So there's the Flix train nah, now with a proper. Else. It's a it's a an acceptable length now. What's that? The Flix train now is an acceptable oh, length with four good. cards. Yeah, so I'm running it again. It's its third time in five streams gotcha. since I got okay, it. Okay, but now it's nice and long. Third time in four streams. I didn't seem to not like it, that one. <laughs> well, we don't like the company. I like the color. Yeah, understood. Oh no, we're 
you know, I can tell you were tall. You're, but you're as tall as our son and our daughters. Is AJ over six foot? So maybe six one, maybe. So what? AJ's maybe six one. AJ is six one and a half. Yeah, Cole's okay. on six two. I really okay. thought my son would pass me in height. I really uh, thought he was going to be taller than me, but his growth. Yeah, gravity is a bear. That's for sure. You were six foot now. Five foot ten. Yeah, gravity's a bitch. Since you don't live in a toxic area, you have uh, two foot. Two foot. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, piddle folk. Yay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to Madeira, China. So you said the Japanese guy that tall was gonna, you know, well, see, Asian see, back, that's a back when I was born, they used to do these diagnostics yeah. and say based on this, 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 and this. If you had a healthy life, you were projected to grow this tall. Right. My dad is six two. My mom is six foot, and they projected me to be six foot five to six foot seven, or even taller. But they didn't project um, that my mom's uh, my mom was a chain smoker even when pregnant, and I was born with a birth defect, which I don't know. Maybe it helped affect my growth. I'm still the tallest in my family. I got one cousin who is 6'6", but he's not a dodge. You're writing your next episode. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah, everybody sees a love to the folk, so that's all right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the talk's no, good. No, I haven't even written songs. We're just backlogged on song, songs. Although know. the backlog I'm is trimming away. I just can't do that same voice for other songs. It no. worked. It yeah. works for. It, it was the right. It worked. It was. It, it was the right voice for that song. It was I pulled the right my voice. hair, and now it's really frizzy. What's that? I pulled my hair. It's really frizzy. Yes, yeah, got that. Almost. Dare I say, Dutch boy cut look. Be nice. Well, genetics play diet, genetics, but genetics plays oh, a huge yeah, factor. It's, I, well, yeah, I mean, diet does, but for most of us here, it's just <clears throat> what you have. Well, my two daughters are basically 5'11. Yeah. I think one says 5'11, the other says 5'10 and a half. Yeah, I definitely the shortest. Joyce just watched family. each kid grow past her. Yep, I sure did. It's amazing Joyce isn't in the next race because she has spent her whole life with our family going. That isn't my best angle. Hi, I, honey. How are you? I'm fine, sweetheart. How's the weather down there? What's that? I have to back up. Yeah, she has to back up to look. Joy, Joyce can't Joyce can't be tough and stare you in the eye. She has to back up to look up. <laughs> Anthony, I told you. <laughs> and I just looked down. That's what they do. <laughs> Film the next episode of Fredo Baggins, the fourth NASCAR. Oh, uh, gotcha. Mode. That's funny. Hey, Andy T. Welcome in, Sir Andy of T. Great. <laughs> Hello, Andy T. Speaking of tall, mm -hmm. but then again, is that this old red Andy? I don't know. Okay, keep my Andy straight. You need to. I don't feel that bad about handy dandy about Andy it. book to I, keep them all straight. I need a handy dandy list of my Andy's. <laughs> Got to pull out my handy dandy Andy list. Well, of all the Andys here, yeah. of all the Andys that we quote know, yeah. you've only met one in person. Of them here. Okay. You met Andy from Arch West Junction. Right. Right. Yeah, he was to send me the message. No, I didn't get your friend request. I finally posted. 
You sent me a friend request? Who? If I sent you a friend request, remember, we're already friends. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. That's your rate says you six four. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I did not get it. You're going to have to find the real me. Who, what? Somebody sent you a friend request? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, by the way. The message, the message was right. The friend request was not. See, the know. new thing is they no longer hack Facebook. So, so was they go on to open accounts, like mine's an open account. They steal a picture and find out who you're connected to, and then they steal that person's name and a picture off your account. So several of you are getting... If you're friends with me on Facebook, you're getting friend requests from Joyce. It's not Joyce. No. Nope. But it's her account was not hacked. Here's Spartacus. They clearly yeah. they clearly took a picture off of my account and got information about her from my account and created a fake account. Because they don't have her birthday or any of that information. They mm -hmm. just have a picture of her, her name. And then they're using my list of friends to send friend oh requests gosh, to. They're not going on horrible sites and saying I'm saying stuff I wouldn't say, are they? That's scary. All right, good night, Stephen Cameron. Sir Stephen of Cameron. Oh, that's got me scared. And good night, Leslie. Good night, Thank Leslie. you for coming in. Glad you came in. <laughs> Willie's running around. The housing and owner of a small layout. layout. That's nice, Dan. Yeah. Although that is not your favorite singing, you, uh, you have, you've gone on record. You, it's not. You're not chuffed with it at all. I honestly, it was mostly just because I ran out of air. You just it felt really it wasn't your key. Feel like I sang too badly. It's just I couldn't. I got a point where I can wear barely get it out. Yeah, because Ooh. somebody contacted me. Was that you, Andrew? Yeah, because you're the one who let me know. Boom. I'll double check now, but I think it was Andrew March West Junction who let me know. Because they said, is this Joyce? <laughs> There's my, uh, was that through Facebook Messenger? Uh, oh, what? Sorry, message is popping up. Yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah. No, I get about it. Oh, it was uh Dino. I'm sorry, it was Dino let me know yeah, about it. That was the first I had caught on to it. So yeah. Dino sent me a message. Yeah, I mean that should be the first thing. If you get a firm request from somebody you thought you were already friends with, go into your friends before you respond to those people. Don't just assume, oh, I thought I was friends with Joyce and Connect. Yeah, Andrew McDonald. So it was Dino who told no, me about it. Says it was. Okay. It was Dino who told me and said, Anthony, is this Joyce? Because they just kind okay. of. Yeah. yeah right, and I'm also, right. just to let you know, I hope this doesn't sound wrong. Joyce doesn't Thank send you. out friend requests. Uh, no, I said, really, no. Yeah, you did. I got you now, Andy. Okay, you messaged Joyce. Yeah, okay. he did. All right, good night, Kieran. Oh, they're running know. for the doors. They the bills must running. be coming early today. The checks must be coming early today. Yeah. Uh, what if I <laughs> very nubby? Yeah, 11 p.m. That's right. You guys are back to six hours ahead over there. So 11 p.m. Good night, Evo. Great to have you here as always. Thank you for the information. Uh, he told us that if we're going to stay in Aachen area yeah. uh, and we want to go into that Eiffel National Park area, that there's a train ride that's really cool to take called the Balkan okay. Express. Sounds great. I mean, we've got a year to plan, we but do. a year from now we'll be thinking about it. But... Um, Excuse me. I don't think I saw the whole thing. That's weird. What's that? I guess I didn't see the whole message. Gotcha. Hey, it was Natalie doing something else. She's bad at doing. Well, let's move on to some other cameras now. You've been big on cam for a while. Yeah, I'm happy to not be big on that. I'm feeling big. <laughs> well. 
I'm happy you're big on camera. Good. I'm happy you're big off yeah, camera. Yeah, I'm almost 100 subs. How about that? Oh, wait. Did you get to it? I don't know. I haven't lost. Oh, yeah. I forgot to announce. I was going to mention it and didn't. I forgot all about you. Last check, Joyce had 99 subs this morning. Yeah, anybody, still 99 subscribers. Anybody want to go over and subscribe to Joyce's channel and make it 100? <laughs> you don't even... Joyce is at... Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can watch our uh, vacation videos. <laughs> ever since, yeah, ever since the you tremors of the right the... hand. I, I can still do the left hand nice, but the right hand, there we go. Live long and prosper, double-handed. Stupid bandages. Stupid bandages. I think I needed to be under my sunlight today. I think all these clouds finally got to me. So, Hi, Luma. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. I just, my, my, my steering is totally miscombobulated. Uh, where we go, where we go. Oh, look at that's what I'm trying to do. I already looked. No, I'm doing. Oh, yeah, all right. You're going to put Jeez, me up there. Jeez, woman. I could have done, do it before you I done that. Doing. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, good night, Luma. You too. Bring me a pop culture thing. Yeah. I don't know if they're... The only Hot Wheels theme that I really like is the Hot Wheels premium pop culture theme. Okay. The only theme I like in Hot Wheels is Dodge Cars. So you go for friends and... I don't go for themes. I go Those... for a brand, Dodge. I don't care if it's made by Matchbox, Maisto, Hot Wheels, Johnny Lightning. If it's Dodge, I'm in. If it's not Dodge, don't care. <laughs> that sounds bad. But yeah, Joyce hit 99 subs this week. She's actually I been did. I have travelers. Yes, if I was at 109 now. Is she at 109 so. now? No, because most of the people who follow this channel that would subscribe to her have subscribed. Yeah. Um, no, I've got new people that are like, oh, you travel. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Joyce, Joyce is picking up subs that are not through the model train community right. now. Because she's, she's been posting a bunch of these. It's just that we don't, uh, hi, TBR. It's just that we don't, uh. Yes, I did see that. Um, in um, fact, I saw one at uh, Walmart with my oh, grandson thanks, last Andy. week. Cool beans. Uh -huh. Ta-da! You made a thousand. Yeah. Woo! Thousand, oh, you made a hundred. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dreaming big. Oh, no, I get a thousand. Of course, we're not traveling to add more pictures and stuff. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Steve. Um, the, uh, you know, it's going to be Joe June before I can add anything. So. Right. <laughs> She's at 101. I just subscribed. Well, I thank suppose. you, Steve of Stormy Sky you know, Rail Productions. I want to do some Ohio trips. We can put up videos like that. You can put up. You can start putting up your kayaking videos too. Oh, I'd be interested in looking at us all sweaty. It's topic. your channel. It's it just been we we created that channel so that you could. The whole reason you created that channel was so that you could like and subscribe the train community. Right. But you're, it's your channel. You're free to expand it any way you like. Oh, so do it Dominic's anywhere. at 99. Oh, We're Dominic's at 99? Let's get well, okay, Dominic we got to get Dominic 100 to 100. Too. He does Hot Wheel cars and trains. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So you broke 100. Now you got to keep them. So I have to put up a video of you rocking in the chair, especially when you're, <laughs> never mind, doing your daisy. Oh, my goodness. That would get a different crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get a lot of this crowd, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> get a little daisy outfit going and go hit the like button, gentlemen. You'll get more likes on that one video than I have on all my videos combined. Hello, Andy. 81E. Hey, another Andy. You got to go to your handy dandy Andy. My handy dandy Andy. List. In fact, here's, here's <laughs> how it works. Are you ready? 
So anyway, don't, Wait. Dominic, put your link up. So yeah, people can Dominic, link to your page. Link your page. There you go. New Horton. I saw those. I saw that. I thought I commented on you. Might want to go check and see that I commented on that. <laughs> Unless you just put it up. Oh man. But imagine this. Yes. It's the 1980s, 1990s. Yes. And we're doing all this. You needed a cheap computer. So you'd go to Radio Shack. And you remember what Radio Shack's computers were called? Tandies. They Tandies, were the Tandy. Uh, the Tandy, okay. the Tandy I guess so. was their computer division. So I could so you could have stored, you could have stored, don't you steal it. I'm doing it. So you could have stored your information <laughs> on that computer. So you could have pulled out your handy dandy Andy Tandy <laughs> to keep all your names, all the different Andys. Andy eighty one E is this guy. Andy eighty one. Uh, I'm sure that put it. For sure, Dominic. Oh, he's already got it on. There you go. Yeah. So I now, know. quick, go to your channel and go to the first tab and do a refresh and see what happens. It should be at one hundred one. Ninety nine. Subscribers, so, 104. Oh, wow. You wow. Know, you pimped me well today. Thank you. Well, you know, <laughs> I pimped you. You better be careful. If I pimped you, that might mean services required. You don't want to go there. Yeah, you're right. Uh, see, Valley's on with you. You did your A level computer projects on a TND 16S. Oh, my God. With, with a Tandy 48 server. server. Oh my God, Chris. If we wanted to say we're old, we just did. Do you want to say you're old without saying you're old? We just did. Yes, we did. All right, Dominic now has broken 100. Woohoo! Two people broke 100 today. Nice. Yay! I send you the link. We did put the link up. We got it. Oh, the link to the video. Okay. Well, I'm subscribed to you, so I was I was subscribed to you when you had a lot less than that, Dominic. I've been subscribed to you for a while. Yeah, he's been one of your foundational people. And you guys talk cars whenever he comes on, so it's a good deal. Everybody needs somebody they can talk about their hobby with. Everybody needs somebody sometimes. You know, it's just a little road mark map, but it's still it's 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 one. Now I have just jumped up to eight. Ooh, you have a Commodore 64. I had yeah, a Vic 20. You. I had a Vic 20. Yeah, that's right, Anthony had a Vic 20. Well, they're okay. I mean, I'm not, they're, they're, it's not my big thing. Like I said, really, when it comes to cars, cars. toy cars, it's either the, <laughs> my favorite toy cars either say Dodge or they're the really fictional hot rod ones that Jeez. they would put out, like what yeah. my grandson has. Yeah, Anthony is extremely uh, singular on his. His, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hate to cars. be boring, but that's how boring I am when it comes to, I mean, occasionally something like a Hot Wheels car or well, something like a, that, a Batman. It's not that boring considering you have to hunt. Yeah. You know, he has to go on a search for the ones he likes. He can't just go, oh, that's cute. You don't pick it up. It's, uh, I'm sorry, is that the wrong word for a man? Oh, What's that's it? a nice looking locomotive. No car replica i think i'll buy that one <laughs> i've got versions of that every that generation that. of dodge charger up there but then my favorite charger yeah. i have like 50 versions right i've got it in every color and combination it was ever made in yep. Indeed. Orange Dragon and ZX Commodore Smiths on the phone book. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lady at work. Her husband was a bodybuilder. And all the girls would bring in their phone books because he liked to rip them in half. 
What the heck does he do nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> Hand me your uh, uh, cell phone, please. No. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, yeah, Sinclair. There's another one. Oh. Well, nobody said. Ever. Wow, uh, okay. Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. Sure. Classic. Oh, yeah, yeah it was a cool car. For sure. It's a cool car. You, it's need, a cool you car. need a bride throwing her various accoutrements out of it <laughs> to really get the scene. Let's see, where are we at here? I got a, it's got a I don't 66 have, I can't do the mobile charger. Camera right now. You have a picture of it somewhere. No, I was just going to, I got to go to OBS here. All right. No, because that one won't move. Oh, camera problems. Oh, my God. Yeah, Sally Fields. You like me. You really, really like me. We watched that somewhat See, recently. There's, there's my. Right, turn it. Uh, don't hold it. They wiggled you all to death. Yeah, I don't have enough slack in this line. Right. So that is. That is. That's my all Dodge's Hot Wheels collection over there. Those are the ones that he won't let Kyan touch. Yeah, Kyan wants them. But of that's course all he my, does. <laughs> that's all my Hot Wheel Dodges. And then over there behind the Bavarian flag is my uh, Lord of the Rings tabletop wargaming stuff, which you can't see right now. You can't see. People have asked me to do a video on that, and I never Why have. not? You get a different crew for that, I'd too. I get a different crew for that, but... Um, yeah, you know, all the, we're trying to protect the layout from our wayward cats. You know, it'd be very different if yeah. we liked our cats. I did see that. We can't manage them very well. So we have to block them. And yeah, so no, they're stuck the going down here. Again. Should have started that oh, way. Just missed it. Just missed it again. Yeah, you can that one for a while. You have the floor cam. I think you still have the floor cam. Yeah, that's a floor game. All right. The Euro starts making a funny sound. It oh, is did your camera go fuzzy again? My camera? No, it says it's 720, but look how fuzzy that is. Yeah. That's yeah, awful. It's all right on yours. Yeah. This, well, this is the StreamYard view. And again, this is the OBS view. Now, right, OBS. of the three, this is why I prefer oh, OBS sure. and StreamYard. That's this is what it would look like on the computer look. in OBS than here right. on the computer. Yeah, the OBS or with StreamYards. This is why I prefer. Better. So anyway, it's all right. Yeah, the 66 Dodge Chargers of Anniversary Edition. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you told them. The, the 66 was Kai the first generation of the Charger. You told them all Kai ate a wheel the other day? Oh, yeah. Speaking of my <laughs> Hot Wheel, I had a, a 70 RT Hot Wheel that I left out and was letting Kai, Kai and play with, and um, he decided to eat a tire off of it. He just stuck it in his mouth and pried the tire. And I'm like, Kai, get that out of your mouth and get this spit the tire out, spit the tire out. And and I'm like, did you eat the tire? No, 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 no. Stop, Kai. And is the tire and wheel in your stomach? No, no, no. And then on the way home, he tells my mommy, my stomach hurts. Why does your stomach hurt, Kyan? Because there's a wheel in it. <laughs> oh, there she is. Uh, so the other road, I quietly say, hi, Mama, hi, Bopa. He'd like to say hello even before the story. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, we got to say, all right, everybody. All right, we'll do our Kyan hello. Plug yours, everybody. You ready? Kyan! Hi, Kyan! Opa loves you! Hey, Kyan and Lindy and Chris. Hey, Chris is going to work for another 45 minutes. Yeah, he's having a rough day. Oh, travel. <laughs> oh, no. Lindy's crying. There's a dumpster fire at work. He's oh. Putting out. Yikes. Yeah. So. Well, he's solving the problem. Wasn't needed. part of it, was he? I don't think so. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I just felt the while he was traveling. All these other people say it, Kyan. Well, you know, we, we, <laughs> since this is stream here, we could put the link up and everybody could come up and say hi, Kyan, and then you kick him off again. <laughs> they kick him off. <laughs> oh, we'd just be using you. That's cool. Yeah, make Kyan feel special. Oh, we do love little guy. Indeed, we do. 
even in a zombriness. And Raymond Lloyd says, hi, Joyce. Hi, Kyan and Spare. Hi, Raven. Well, for those of you who may not know, Lindy loves here. That is my oldest child. That is my elder daughter, Lynn or Lindy. She became Lindy because her name was Lynn. And um, there was another Lynn in her class or something like that. So she became Lynn D for Lynn Dodge. And it just became one word, Lindy. Yep. And she stuck with it ever yet. Not sure I like nicknames who didn't give her kids, but you know it is what it is. I don't I don't call her Lindy, I don't think. I think she's Lynn. I've referred to her as Lindy before. Yeah. Chelsea's old mobiles from Kickline. Let's see, it's an old mobile. <laughs> I hit a hit hundred subs, Lynn. Yes, your mom has one hundred subs now. And almost like that makes you a full dominatrix. You have a oh wait, different type of sub, <laughs> different type of sub. Sorry, Lynn. Daddy <laughs> made a bad joke. Yeah, across the years. I think I don't understand that yet. Subscribers, subscribers. We got to say subscribers so yes, we don't confuse you're people. Right. I don't think you confused anybody on this crowd, but uh, it is Moma and Bopa. He did actually drop the B a few times the other day. He was saying Opa. And the funny thing is, I was, uh, we were at the zoo with Kyan yesterday. Uh -huh. And uh, Joyce had gone to the restroom. And, um, so Kaya came up and said, Opa, Opa. And uh, this worker there came over and says, Bist du Deutsch? Are you German? No, no, he said, Sprichst du Deutsch? Do I speak German? I said, Ja, ich spreche Deutsch gern. He says, Are you German? I said, No, I'm an American, but I speak fairly fluent German. And uh, so he said, Oh, well, I studied German in school and then. Uh, I still study it at the university. I was like, okay, well, he's got very good German. Um, but we spoke a bit in German, but he, he just loved the idea. You found a Maestro car called Rosewood. Wow, so Dominic is up to 103 subs now. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, it's a competition up between you and Dominic. Oh, my goodness. You have found your competition, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, definitely not you. No, no, no competition for me. No. Okay. Well, like I said, oh, there's a couple of outfits you could wear that would change that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I did. I'd scare my children. And You'd get fired. the end of that. Yeah, I'd get fired You'd from scare work. your children and get fired like at work. Only fans, yeah. You'd have to rely on that only fans income. <laughs> I got three years to go. I can do this. Can you? Yeah. All right. Why is this not even coming up on my phone? What's that? My own live stream. Oh, that's, I don't know. Should it? Yes, it yes, should. It should. I agree. Oh, uh, there it is now. Just go on YouTube and look for uh, random lives. Yeah, Maybe you'll that's be on. not a great <laughs> image. Boy, you increase that. Yeah, that's just bad. And that's probably our cable. Because I, after you I had two crashes, I checked the cable. The cable? I'm going to call them tonight or oh, okay. tomorrow and say, I think we need to do something about this. I'm tired of this. Uh, hello, Derrick Hey, Derrick Stigan. How are you? Um, because he's on StreamYard. Because I have to use StreamYard today. My internet and OBS, after a beautiful live stream with OBS on Monday, my internet crashed earlier today, and I'm only pulling five 
uh, MBS yeah. upload instead of the usual 10. Anthony's not happy. He has his OS, uh, OSB. OBS. OB, sorry. OBS stream on a, on a, uh, uh, so I have monitor here, that words, and it is so much better than the other ones we can so see. So I, I have OBS yeah. going through StreamYard. So and StreamYard only allows you to broadcast at 720 we're unless you pay them $40 a month, I think it is. We are calling our internet provider. So, yeah, we I'm going to call because I'm tired of our internet, internet suddenly dropping. Because like I said, my live stream was on OBS. And it was perfect on Monday, but for some reason, my upload cut in half again today. And that's what bothers me is because a lot, a lot of countries, I hear, you know, yeah, 20 it's upload is like, standard. It's getting, like, worse as we go. Yeah. I'm getting very blurry. Oh, the Johnny Lightning Dodge Monaco from the Blues Brothers. That's a good one. Yeah. But yeah, my stream yard, it looks okay. It's, but on Joyce's computer, it looks bad. And on my phone, it looks oh, bad. it's better on my phone. It's better on your phone? Well, mine might have finally figured it out, That's too. That's cleaner on my phone than it yeah. is on the on this Well, let camera. me try again. Yeah, it's a little better on my oh, phone now. Oh, technical issues, technical issues, technical issues. Crafty oh. Budgie Momo. Okay. Whoops, I just bumped your screen. Hope that makes sense. Gotcha. So welcome in, welcome in. So you have the Johnny Lightning Dodge Blues Mobile, right? So anyhow, we are just uh, a bird person. Yeah, you can oh hey, and Dave Williams is here. Hello, Dave. I can never get on with OBS. Well, that's just it. I am most comfortable with OBS. StreamYard is fine for what it does, but it doesn't do much. Now, well, yes, I can bring OBS into it and thus have OBS with StreamYard, but now instead of doing it all through OBS, I have to do it through OBS through StreamYard, so I actually have two screens working and blah, 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 plus it's lower quality video output. I, yeah. I, I do full high definition when I go with OBS, which is part of the problem. When... To, to get full HD when I do a live stream, my internet has to be at that 10 millibyte per second upload strength. And it was running five right before I went live, which is why I kicked over to OB or uh, StreamYard. Oh. I was prepared that just in case it acted up, I had it already set up to go into StreamYard just in case. Oh, so anyway, yeah, it's been several weeks here. Anthony's been having issues with uh, which well, I'm sure the you last, noticed. The so, last two live streams. And then Monday worked fine, so it might be just a Friday thing. Well, why people, on Friday is my are internet there more people using? Because last week Friday, last week Friday, the internet was running a full 11. Okay. So it's okay. just... Yeah, so Dave, you you're running your trades again. Are you going to build a layout with those, or you're just running trains again? Just fine, by the way. It's been a tech of mayhem. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know why everything worked great, but I didn't trust it. So I was prepared to go with Streamyard just in case the OBS crashed. So I did two test streams right before I went live. They both crashed. I said, "All right, Streamyard, it is." Then I did my internet check, and my internet was. The, the download speed was perfect. It was running over 400. It was like 420. So for Friday at 420, that's good. But as I was saying, the issue is we used to be on their plan that gives us five. And then we upped it a couple of years ago right. to 10 when I yeah. started go doing this yes. and I got the super when computer. We, when we upgraded, when we changed, we made sure we were still at the same uploading. Well, no, no, no. We were originally at five, and then yeah. when I got the supercomputer and did this, yeah. we upped it to ten. Right. Okay, that was almost two years ago now. Right. All right. We only got rid of the other stuff about a year ago or so. But anyhow, 
Okay. The problem is, so somewhere in their computer, they still have our old account. And anytime there's a hiccup in the system, it reboots us back down to five megabytes upload instead of 10. Oh. And that happened two weeks ago. And then it happened today. Your cat walked past the core behind me. The cat is in 4K. <laughs> no, that was in 3D, which is even better than 4K. Oh, man. Well, thank you for that, Budgie Mama. Nope. Uh, I'm quite chuffed with all my trains. Hi, Mom and Sons. Although the 109 is important. The one I keep saying 109. It's a 102. It well technically it is. It's a Skoda 109, but in the German train world, it's a 102. <laughs> Double O gauge in the garden. I I I'm not even thinking O gauge in the yard. Although my deck's big enough, I could run a O gauge train or even a Nice round edge, but no, I'm not doing a garden yard. No, I don't think so either. Hey, Tammy and Ray, welcome back. I don't think I would like to. Uh, Sir Ray and Dame Tammy, welcome back. Oh. <laughs> Does Ray know he's been upgraded to a Sir? Everybody here is. Uh, I know everybody's a Sir. But everybody is a that. knight of the rhomboid table as long as right. they respect the rules. We got to make those t shirts, they might go like hotcakes. Well, I've got the basic design. Lynn was going to pimp it for me, but she's been busy, and I don't think about yeah. it. I wait till Lynn's talk about, yeah, it's been boring lately, and then I'll say, Lynn! <laughs> hey, Ian. Getting nobbing? I know, it's the wrong language. It's the only one I have that's so near what, what, Nobbin? You don't even remember how to say it in Spanish? After three or four years of high school? Ian? Oh, Ian. Ian. Yeah. Well, you could say goodbye to him in Spanish. That works about as well as English. If you don't know Dutch, actually he does know German. He does do German. Yeah. Some of his videos are label in German. So I say Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Yeah. Guten Nacht. At this point, it's Guten Nacht. He's going to bed. Guten Nacht. More Abend. Nabend. And if you really get slingy, you just say Nabend. 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 Okay, I understood the whales part. Are you in whales? I well, I think they're kind of cool I as a mammal. I won't say I'm the in berry them. part. Berry. Oh, the berry. Berry? Where's berry? Maybe it's, I don't know. It's in the UK. Oh, clearly. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. Wow, John Ricard has not come in to say hi, has he? Oh, he hasn't. He could be working. No, he was in earlier. Oh, okay. Well, he probably fell asleep. John Ricard, John Ricard, John, John Ricard. Ricard. Say it three times. See if he wakes up. <coughs> John Ricard needs new tech. <laughs> Put that in his dreams. It didn't do it. Did we try three more times. Jean Ricard. Oh. Say it as Daisy. Jean Ricard. Jean Ricard. Jean Ricard. Oh, that did it. Uh-oh. What roll? What roll? It did something. <laughs> hey, Mark. 
Good to see you. Love it, guys. Cat's 3D. It just reminded it's food time. <laughs> yeah, see, I'd like our cats to be like that. They're not. They are really, if they're really low on food, they just meow. I would like my cats to be 1D. Oh, there you are, Jean. Hi, Jean. Haven't seen you. I was summoning you, including telling you in your dreams, get new tech. <laughs> Today's the best day ever. What happened? Did you did you get a girlfriend? Did you get married? Did you uh, a get a boyfriend? Or, or did you like get a Or did new... you lose? <laughs> did you lose a bad girlfriend or boyfriend? Did you get your favorite meal? I mean, come on. You got us. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's 103 subs. Maybe that's it. <laughs> you got a new Matchbox card. Oh, because of the subs. Oh, cool. Oh, gosh, Dominic. We knew that was going to make you happy. We uh, pimped you earlier. <laughs> yeah, so we got two people in here who broke 100. Anybody else below 100? Anybody we can else help. like a little bush? Right, we may not get you over 100, but we could try. I mean, if you're... 98.99 apparently we can do it because we apparently can get you four new subs <laughs> well you got five he got people. four hey choberton hey sir anthony of choberton nice to have you here that's right that's an anthony used to play on the locals of Barry scrapyard he was up gotcha. a bit early this morning so morpheus Take me into his arms. Yep. I that heard rumors sense. about you and Morpheus. <laughs> well, we didn't want to bother you. I you heard know, you two were you uh, a little in. tight together. We worry a little bit when you don't come in. So, you know, friends and all. Yeah. Uh, Agent Agent Smith and Neo are very unhappy about how what you and Morpheus have hit it off. Oh. <laughs> He was in the arms of Morpheus, and yeah. Neo and Agent Smith weren't happy. That's right. Dun, dun, wasn't, dun. wasn't Morpheus Hey, in, Sir uh, Owen of Concord, how are you? Um, Hello, hello. Well, it's always busy oh, on my well, that's screen. Good. It's just Husky sadly it we're is. lower quality to show it off. Um, that's what I was trying to do. I didn't get to it. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got a knight. I'm not going to you a knife at the round boy table. Uh, Crafting Budgie Mama, you may now advertise your channel if you have one. You can advertise hobby channels or comedy channels. We do not talk religion, politics, or dramas in here. So we just try to keep it all friendly and happy in here. So welcome in. What, what, where? Every now and then, you have something going up your rails that is confusing me. I will point it out the next time you see Something it. going up my rails. Well, maybe it's the doctor. <laughs> I need to move that. that that's, at that angle, this was looking weird. Oh, the bottle? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can still see it there before I move it. Just wrong positioning. Gotcha. We'll just put this over here. <laughs> okay. Well, that's Should cool to hear, Raymond. Should be coming. Which way? Where? Where? What? Who? Where? What? What? Who? Who dat? Who dat dare? Now you've okay. got no... I think I solved it. Okay. Okay, never mind. Hey. Figured out what it was. Well, now and I want to know what was it? It was, was it? an odd optic illusion. An odd optical illusion? Yes. All optical illusions are odd. That's probably true. That's why they're illusions. Okay, I'll show you when it comes back around. You've always told me you'll show me things and then never do. <laughs> well, it's silly now, but. It's silly now, but. <laughs> I'm finding it extremely interesting to hell with the show. <laughs> what are we talking about? I'm staring at your screen, ignoring the chat. Okay. 
This looks very gray. Yes. Now, I would look away. All I'm seeing is the dark part there. And it looks like it's a single car. Oh, I got you. The top of the rail jet is yes. the same color as the track. Right. So it looks like there's a little so black So all I bit. see is just this little black thing. And you don't have any single cars. See, yeah. that's the problem with 720. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what the heck was on his train. Track. Yeah, I saw that. And it's, I can see it in real life, but I don't see anything in there. But. Oh, well, that's it. We hope y'all come in and have some fun. So, I mean, we made Belly happy. Or Dominic happy, I think. Ooh, you saw the first picture of the Transformers well, lab. Well, Raymond, we just try to be open and honest here. We hide nothing. Okay, we hide a lot of things from you all, but. <laughs> oh, look, Artie woke up. <laughs> Hi, Artie. Oh, no, not at all. Yes, yes, Artie. Joyce and I are <laughs> arguing again. Joyce is seeing things, and I'm, I'm trying to understand things. what she's seeing no, based just... on the way Joyce explains yes, it, which not... can always be interesting, we're... to say the least. We're not having any issues. We're just excited figuring out a weird thing. The that colors, I man, the colors. <laughs> so anyway, pretty much our normal speed. You can yeah. tell when Joyce gets excited because that voice goes up and out. Yes, it five. does. I'm, it bothers me a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Been a long swim. Are you swimming in the internet world? Well, he just woke up. Because we know how bad that is. Wait a minute, is. Artie. If you just you just said you just woke Were up. Were you swimming across the Pacific no, Ocean? Stop, woman. Jeez. He was sleeping. Yes. Now, he just woke up and said it was a long swim to get here. All right. I hope you're changing the mattresses before we get there, Artie. <laughs> if you had to swim to get here from waking up. <laughs> Yeah, oh, might want to move the bathroom closer. Sorry, you lost one of your birds. That is sad. Oh, that's a shame. It's part of your family. We had, we had many different birds, and we lost them all. No, yeah, 11 inches of rain at 4 a.m. for an hour. Ouch. Yeah, I'd like to know how much rain we've got in the last four days. I decided today, my, I, I'm not in a good mood. And it, I think I need my happy lamp. We've just been in clouds for a week. Yeah, your happy lamp? My happy lamp. Is that what you call it now? Your happy lamp, you know, the little one with the floating lava in it, and you're going... No, not that yeah, one. Yeah, I feel it too, man. Not that one. I feel much better. No, you, we don't do those things. Oh, well, you know what, John? Uh, this 34 years, is that what we decided? What? How many years have we been married? I forget. How many years have we been? We're going on 37, dear. Okay, 30. Well, Apparently just, happily married for 34. <laughs> the last three, a little rocky. Um, anyway, or maybe the first three saw, were rocky. I don't know. Um, I th This doesn't worry me at all. <laughs> it just, right. Okay. That's why you're grasping me like that. We're going to talk about this. not worry me. We're going to talk later. Like we're happily married until the day you die. <laughs> Oh my golly. Which is coming soon at the rate you're going. Oh yeah. Hey, I know what everybody else is looking for tornadoes down here. You guys are getting snow. Yeah, I don't want snow now either. I'd like something warmer than what it's been. And uh Yeah, I just don't want to know how you tested that already. <laughs> Hey, who knows? It's gonna, all right. I got rubber sheets too. It's going to end up on our uh, doorstep. <laughs> no, I slept on a waterbed once. We were watching Holly's house and they had a, what, they were out of town and they had a waterbed. Yeah. It was pretty awful. Right after we married. Yeah. And it yeah. Was I did awful. not enjoy a waterbed. For all yeah. the supposed luxuries of it, I did not. <laughs> oh, you brute. Indeed. Well, weather everywhere has kind Your of mom? sucked lately. Yeah. <laughs> Climate change. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> that sounds political. Yeah. Would you just 
Jean Riccardi's at it again. He I just know, wants he to is. poke the bear. No, no, no. John, he's uh, he's all right. He's all right. I'm all right. Thanks. That, that's the way to defend your husband, I tell you. You are all right. Cat versus waterbed. Bad idea. Ways. <laughs> no. Cat versus waterbed. No. Sir Clive is here. If we didn't say hello, hello. I think we did, but just in case. Um, no, that's that. Um, the uh, Hudson and Landry bit with Bruiser LaRue, the, the football player. Uh-huh. And he meets Dracula. Oh, my. What is the what is this thing in your living room? That's my coffin. That's where I sleep. Well, I suppose with those fangs, you couldn't trust a waterbed. <laughs> Well, I see. Oh, that's dreadful, Artie. Get that all out of the way before we come. They're transitioning. Yeah, they're rainy season. Yay. Yeah, they're transitioning into fall. They're in fall. Yeah, that's right, because it was a couple. Yeah, but we're still transitioning. It feels a little winter like. He's acting like a squawking duck. John, John, John. He hated you in your recliner. Ooh, she called you out in your chair. Give him the official teacher wag. I'll even put you on your close-up camera to do it. Here, let's do that. I don't have it. Oh, I do have a cam. I do think I did. You have a cam. There you I go. Give him your camera. official. John Ricard, you be nice, young man. There you go. I have a whore looks. You have a whore crux. Splash, 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 splash instead of squeak, a squeak, a squeak. <laughs> Yeah, he got two more flicks, coaches. You didn't seem to want to share those with Ryan. He didn't show any interest. I think he showed enough interest when he said, is that a box for Kyan and Opa? No, he said Kyan or Opa. I thought he said Kyan and Opa. No, he said Kyan or Opa. Is that for <laughs> Kyan or for Opa? Well, John, that's a completely different thing. <laughs> yeah, Jean is, Randall. Oh, great. See, we made the dominatrix joke, and now he's talking about he likes to be disciplined yeah, by you. Yeah, I know. Oh. Not usually in a fuzzy sweater. You're going to have to go uh, get that steel-studded black leather bar uh, bra on, apparently. Apparently. Get out the old cat of nine tails or the bullwhip. Do your Betty Page impersonation. Get a new comment and quit being so fussy. That was your Betty Page impersonation? No, 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 that wasn't. That was my dad. <laughs> that, was your, that was even worse. <laughs> I sound me, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You're doing Mississippi sorry, from let's go back to, Miss, Mississippi. Let's get back to life. Let's, let's go back to talking about trains. <laughs> oh sugar oh it's never too early sorry y'all but i think we just changed the rating of this like you know again again <laughs> no we honey we just Still start happens, there man, we so just happens. start there oh. we started nc17 randall's, <laughs> randall's stealing my joke now okay. good night folks <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> so I'm bringing it back. What's your thoughts on Deutsche Bahn retiring the 101? I'm Which, sad. I've got several of them. Yeah. I'm sad. I don't see why they're pulling them out yet. <laughs> what? Who? What? So, <laughs> Budgie said good good day. Day. No. He's not Budgie, leaving. That, <laughs> he's doing a joke line I have. Whenever we do an obscene joke or a joke that could be taken obscene, I always yell, good night, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that you could do much in a waterbed, Raymond. Let alone BSM. 
Well, we won't discuss that topic any further. We'll just leave it there. Yeah, I think so, too. I think we'll just... We'll experiment at the next hotel. We'll just... <laughs> Hello, do you have a water bag? <laughs> They're trying to prove or disprove a statement, David. <laughs> oh, sugar. Do you, you know where I could buy a strip for the Wheel for Lux? Uh, either Lipa or direct from Lux. Those would be my only two thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it would take much either. Oh, Yes, golly. at least you were polite. Oh, yeah. We try to be polite here. Know. Even when we're being naughty, nah, we're not polite. Really. I, you know, we tried sat and cheat once, and I hated them. Constantly felt like I was going to fall out of the bed. We got really deluxe satin sheets once just to see what they'd be like on the bed. Joyce felt like she was skiing in bed. Constantly. I rolled over and I thought I was just going to keep right on going. She rolled over into bed and just I slid down the no hall. no more. I did not like them at all. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> she was always, she'd try to get and out of bed. Liked them she'd try to push herself out of bed and she just went sliding straight into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I don't like this. <laughs> you see, getting out of bed is a bit of a trick because we actually, our bed is in a cave. Yeah, it's in a... It's in a little it's alcove. It's in an alcove. It's a little... Yes, I believe um, that's the right term. A, um, oh, what are they? A dormer alcove. So there's actually a low ceiling. Uh, if you sit up at the end of the bed, you would bang your head on the little overhang of a wall. Or I do. She doesn't. Yeah, I can sit up. You can't get out without ducking. Yeah, they. Yeah, they were horrible. I just <laughs> absolutely did not like them. Yeah, um, it's the one car flickers. It's probably got a wire loose in it. I know it's flickering in roughly the same place, but not every car that I have flickers in that spot. That one flickers in those spots. So I don't know what it is, or maybe it just needs its thing clean. Uh, but I've got all yeah. five of those. Those are the um, hobby Just trays. be a dirty tray. Those are the Danish hobby trays, which are my favorite double deckers. The Danes made great double deckers, that hobby trade stuff. Yeah, my sister had a waterbed for 20 plus years, I think. Never understood it. Well, hello, Zeta. <laughs> on the contrary when we go to hotels we go to we don't necessarily go to the nicest hotels but we always go to quality hotels that don't have the 25 cent attachments yeah when we were young in the roach motel we just get the we just Do make sure the one's got a hot tub i think those have vibrators didn't they the roach motel in kentucky oh that one did yeah 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 that's when we were young. Oh, I bet, Randall. When we were young, right? It was our honeymoon, but we didn't have a lot of money. We went to an well, El Chivo hotel in Kentucky. And, no, I always went. No, I yeah, it had the 25 cent vibrator to, on it. We went to a better hotel for our honeymoon. It was no, we were going to the, oh, that's right. It's when we go to the Reds game. Yeah, we go to the Cincinnati Reds. And we upgraded for a for honeymoon. Oh, for the honeymoon, we upgraded. Yep. Hanswagen, a dancing car. But truly, I think we only saw one cockroach in all the times that we've been there, but it seemed fitting. It was very cheap. The hotel you booked us as a shared bathroom. Who are we oh, sharing it buddy. with? That's not our speed, Artie, but we'll deal with it. I said Lippa, Odell Bond Shop Lippa, or order from Lux Direct and see if they have it in their yeah, spare parts. Try, try Lux, Lux Direct. No, I did not get the rest. I just found two more of the add-on cars. So I've got four of the add-on cars. I'm just going to eventually cancel my order and get my money back. You'll be all right. Already. I'm sharing it with the locals.
But yeah, I, I thought of running all my I thought of running all my ICs. I was gonna run the German, the Swiss, uh, the Swiss, the German, the Austrian, and the Czech, and then I decided not to. And uh because I wanted to run the railjet and the IC3. Right. Take care, Steve. Say hi to Jenny, and you guys have a good weekend. <coughs> and you can watch my travel videos. Yay. Real spotting. So were we going to go to uh, Menards and look at the other stuff tonight? If you don't want to, you don't uh, have to. Oh, we can. Or just because you're talking about the light dinner. We have to go out the anyhow. Way back. Ooh. Stop yawning. I know. I'm sorry. And man, if I haven't had anything on this break, it's sleep. Plenty of sleep. Yeah, I have slept in. But I, I think I'll try to remember to do a run where uh, it's all light up trains. Oh, there you go. That's a good thing. I could do the two Czech rail jets. I'm they both sure light up. got quite a few that light or up. The two, the two rail jets, the Austrian and the Czech. Should I have any problem finding the, six that light up? Yeah. Well, all my double deckers light up. All of my double deckers. I could do that. That's lit up. Eagles work. I could do that. I could all my double deckers light so up. up. I could do um I could do the IC2, the metronome, and then two Deutsche Bahn Regios. That's four. All right. Good night, Tammy and Ray. Good night. Good night. Take care. Thanks for Enjoy hanging out with us verse. for a while. Well, I haven't got my money back yet. I've got to get it back from them. Or have it applied to something else. Hey, Peter from Delft Junction. Welcome Hi, in. Sadly, we are going to be signing off in a couple of minutes. Yeah, a couple of minutes, but you can join the mayhem for a little bit. Yeah, every now and then you still see it. Uh, I'll see it on eBay, uh, both American and German. <laughs> well... He's just, yeah. He's in a mean mood, I tell he you. He's in a mood. I guess because we woke him up in his early shift. Hello, Sir John. John Welcome in. Here. Welcome. Canofile. No, Canofile is what you. It's a Canofile. Okay. I didn't call him the Canofile. Okay. I don't know. I think we're going to spray this whole rug. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Tell me about it. Or throw Stupid it out and get cats. a new one. Or just don't have one. I like it. I understand. When I'm down working on things or I'm I sitting here, understand. it's nice and warm instead of cold. I understand. Don't we have a, we've got a small rug cleaner. Oh, there's another song I could okay. do. Well, that would set. be a good one. Not that I'm writing it right now or thought of writing it, but the the and I'm not gonna run my trains like anybody else, and I'm not gonna build layouts like anybody else. Yeah, the Kinks. I'm not my favorite Kink song, really. The red double decker is lazy today. Yeah, it's going slow. It's going slow. Yeah, it definitely slows around that corner too. Yeah, it seems like they all do. That's a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Which just feels like it could be uh It might just be a bad track thing. Could be. A, it's a fixable thing if it's a thing. Oh, it's probably. I just need to replace You got to do soldering point motors tomorrow. Blah. Ha, I don't. <laughs> I just got to get the courage up to work on the power car again and get it set up one way or the other. But there's that blue tiger. I like that blue tiger. Yeah. That is a sharp little coat. And it was a free gift, you know? Well, indeed. What can you say about that? Nothing. Go Rusty high. Klinger back in the show. It's kind. It's kind. Although I will say the video I did was not Rusty Twinger's voice. It was deeper yeah. and in the back of the throat. I've got another train coming. Anyway, my new subscribers might like my series about the five best things about being married to a model train enthusiast and my five bad things about being married to a model train We've enthusiast. done all ten in the last couple of minutes. <laughs> Probably. 
two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, eight, right? Well, if you count the two on the floor, we have eight running. Six on top, two on the floor. That makes Anthony happy. He likes scenery and a lot of trains, and that's what you got. Andy E is taking off. Andy All 81 right. E. Night. Andy. Time to drive a train heading to Oxford. Will you take care? Have a good, safe ride. Yeah, have a safe drive. Give us a give a <laughs> toot for us. Toot toot. Yeah, you can do a pair of toots for Joyce. Yep. Well, just for Anthony and and the Knights of the Romboy table. Well, That'll Knights of the Romboy everybody. table, we done for you. That, film yourself doing it. That would be even more fun. You can make a short. Out there is a loco waiting to be had. If you think I'll pass it by, you're mad. I've got so, another yeah, train it's, it's, coming. It's this husky huskiness. Um, so it's sort of Rusty's a little higher pitch. Yeah, it's it's rusty. Thank you, but it's, thank you, but everybody. It's, it's wonderful to be here at the Filthy Glass Saloon. Rusty's Rusty's a little higher pitched and to the front, more to the front of the throat, where that voice I did is deeper into the back. Okay. I text here. If you hurry up and come to Denmark tomorrow. There's great. All right, Joyce, we got to get packing. Let's go. Holy moly. Except by the time we got there, it would be over. Pretty much, yeah. Find the flight, get over there, catch a train. Right. It'll be Monday before we get there. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. Huh. So they don't flicker. You think you burned something. Well, flickering can come from a few things. Now, nah, that's just a bad section of track or dirty because it keeps flickering in the same place and that yeah. slows down right there. So oh, it's pro I'm probably going to have to replace a couple of pieces of track there. Is this or really considered a tropical system, <laughs> Artie? You know, hurricane, tropical storm, that type of thing. Is it in that vein? Is it spin? Oh, the we've been spinning. Oh, adding the condenser. Yeah. Well, what I'd like to see is Maricklin and all these. Although, again, this is uh, this is hobby trade. Gotcha. Okay. Ah, oh, it comes from the north. This is hobby trade. Those cars are hobby trade. The lighting in them, hobby trade. When I first got into the hobby, I saw some hobby trade metronome cars and these double-decker cars. And I just thought they were the best looking ones out there. Seems like you get at least one a year, Artie. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Double, the, the, the interesting thing, Peter, is that a lot of people do respond well to the double deckers. So I think I'll just announce now I'm probably going to do an all double decker show next week. And then I'll try to figure out because because um, I wanted to do all lit up trains, but even the Alex has one double decker, so okay. that would be five. That'd be the five main lines. What would the inner loop be? I don't. Know. Oh wait, I, I forgot. I got the Brava, so I can do That's six double decker I'll trains. It It'll be all red. It'll be all red, mostly red. I have to space them out like red, white, red, yellow, red. Oh, that is sad, already. <laughs> It's we'll get ex tropical systems from the south, and uh, I would say about every five years we'll get one that will <laughs> dump five inches of rain in two hours. So we can do that. I'll just so do it all year. light up and okay. double decker show. Wow, that would be it. I just gave the theme away. Yeah, you did, but I, I don't think it bothers anybody. We'll and they might just be a lot. At least three of the trains yeah, would be sad. Red. They get all psyched up for the season, and then they get washed out. That is bad. You think they changed the season because they got washed out a lot last year. Yeah. They said they get two to three a year. So here's your first one. Well, just get them all out of the way before we get there. Before we get there. Because it's not even so much it rain when we get there. It's while we get there. That's the ugly part. That's what I don't want to deal with. 
Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, that's Having trouble putting it where you want it, huh? I did not say that out loud. I did not say that out loud. All right, well, good night to you. We are getting ready to sign off here. Everybody's going to start running away before we can do our big goodbye. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm not like everybody else. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to become a song. Okie dokie. Yeah, it's in my head. There you go. It was born tonight. Video to come in a year. Oh, boy. Yep. Well, once again, it is after 6 p.m. our time, which means it's 11 p.m. in the U.K. It is midnight in continental Western Europe. Yep. So it is bedtime for so many people. But we want to thank you all for sharing your Friday journey yeah, with us. I appreciate you coming in. We do. Watch us. Even most of those people from Denmark. <laughs> so on that, that note, a- on behalf of the one and only... I'm an Atrix choice. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Opa doesn't play on that side of the street. No. Um, anyhow, we're going to say thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> Boy, I wrote your train of thought. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that train of thought didn't derail. That went off the rails, crashed down the mountain, hit another train and derailed it, and then blew up. Right. Like a Matt Clark episode. <laughs> So we're going to say, before she says anything else, <laughs> I'll beat her, Zane, Cheers. and happy trains. Take care, Bye. everybody. Good night. Already. Sorry, I can't help it when it comes up. 9 a.m. here. Oh, that's not horrible.